Apparently, they dropped in a new electronic device. Uh, Seems to be an XM well, satellite radio device. Right in front of me. And, Hello. hey, Bill. Hello. Right in front of me, and I'm thinking, all right. Mars is like, so you can see the pad data. Yeah, yeah. We've been back doing radio for five years. I've never looked at the pad data. I never really needed I, to. I don't need to look at the pad data. So I'm like, all right, what's in this thing? Is there a hidden microphone? Is there, uh, is there yeah. a camera? It's pointing right at it's me. It's pointing directly at you. It has it the most. Im- it has the most important spot in the studio right now. Yes, it does. Couldn't that be off to the side? Because it's not. If I had no. to look at pad data, is it that important? It's not going to pick up your voice if you put it off to the side. It's staring right the fuck at me. So we're looking at it going, do you think that's a microphone? <laughs> we're like the Sopranos in here. We, in between <laughs> breaks, we got to turn the music up real loud. If you talk to each other with our mouth covered. If you know anything about mice or rats, yeah. when you introduce something to uh, the rat environment, the rats f- see it right away. Yeah. And they adjust. Yeah. You know, you can't just put a trap in the middle of a, a, a rat environment. They're no. gonna they're gonna go right around that fucking thing. Got to trick them. Yeah, and that's what they're doing with us. Every time we see a new piece of equipment in our environment, we get very is suspicious. This? Is that a camera? Is that a microphone? What? I don't want. What is that? Ah, you <laughs> just flung it off of its little mount. <laughs> unplug <laughs> that goddamn thing. Yeah, if I unplug it, I bet you we go off the air. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right in the garbage <laughs> bail. <laughs> I went right in the shit can. I can't even tell you how much stuff I have to pay for. It's fun for the radio, and then Bob gets involved. You know, that cost uh, 400 They're going to take it out of your pay. Tray. That's going to come out of your pay. Uh, Matt made this. Are you a fan of the Opie and Anthony show? No. Go fuck yourself. All right. Wait, do you like naked bosoms? Who the fuck doesn't? Do you like Wednesdays? Who fucking cares? How would you like to see some naked knockers for free? Oh, go fuck. Wait, yes, I would. Well, then just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Opie and Anthony Show. Attention, wow stickers. 1221 Avenue of the Americas, New York, New York, 10020 today. And get yourself a free whip em out Wednesday sticker. Sweet fucking Jesus, that's easy. So's your mother. Now stop cursing. <laughs> wow. Why can't people just say Sixth Avenue? What do they say? Avenue of the Americas. Oh. It's like, does that sound better? Or <laughs> something just went in the garbage bag. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I'm in rare uh, form today. You might banner well, day. <laughs> you might as well make sure you listen to the entire Strap show. in, people. <laughs> Bill Burr, how are you, my Bill friend? Burr I'm good. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what was going on. There was some sort of little was notepad, and then it was plugged in. I think well, I don't know what you did, but I like I like the direction you're going in. What, yeah, the, the, yeah, the little device. There was a device in a front gadget, of me. as we like to call it, a gadget, a device. And by the way, because I'll hear about this later, that we're a little too suspicious. Let me tell you something that happened at NEW, and let me tell you something that happened at AF. Yeah, yeah. And the faithful yeah. listeners have heard these stories, and I apologize, but. Uh, We've had two incidents of wiretapping with the Opie and Anthony Complete show. Complete illegal two, eavesdropping. Two that we know of. Yeah, that we know of. Might not know of other ones. I'm sure there probably were. These are two that they fucked up and we were able to find out. Yeah. And one of the guys works here at Sirius XM and smiles uh, when he sees me, uh, you know. I haven't seen him, thank you. Oh, yeah, he's here. But he made believe he was our friend at NEW and he was secretly taping us. Because we were in, involved in a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Yeah. and he was. I don't know how much we could say, but he was basically wiretapping us, hoping we were going to say something to from, the contrary of like, what, was, yeah. uh, what was presented to uh, the authorities. He was able to, like, you know, wing-ding some wires around. And then during the breaks, when the mics were off, they were still live. So he was able to hear us when we shut the mics off during commercials and we'd be like, that guy's an asshole, fuck this guy, this guy's a shit. And, and got it all on tape and was trying to use that. Wow. But it's, that's, that's not admissible in court, is it? To well, illegally, uh, no, or is they just trying not. to figure out what's going on, how, where you guys are thinking? Probably, so they had, can, a, yeah, probably civil, had a play it or civil something. Civil suit is different than uh, criminal. So This was a multi-million dollar lawsuit. So. And the guy remember. works here, and I just stare at him he tries to smile and say hi i'm like just stop and then another case was at uh, aaf uh where we found out 
that the GM, the boss, general manager, you know, boy, boys, 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 at, boys. Any, at any time, whether the mics again were on or off, whether we were doing the show or sitting back bad mouthing people, like we always do when the mics go off. <laughs> Listen to this one, Bill. You're gonna love this. He could dial his phone in. From anywhere from in the world. anywhere <laughs> and listen to what we're saying in the room at any time. So we were like. And when the? we found out. Wow. We actually were, were like, no fucking way. So I think we were driving around once up in Massachusetts. and we, yep, go, we got the number. We got the number. We're like, let's give this thing a try. And I forgot who was on the air. It doesn't even really matter. Rocko. Maybe it was Rock Hole. And also we're listening to Rock Hole with the mics off. Yeah. I'm like, this cannot be legal. So then we figured out a way to get into the phone closet. And right. before the show, every day, we would unplug, click, it. unplug the one wire. And the boss would come in, and he didn't want to acknowledge that we knew. But the next day, we it was plugged acknowledge... back in. <laughs> yeah, it would be plugged back in every day. And, and we would unplug go, it every day. Click, unplug it again. And he couldn't come to us and go, stop <laughs> unplugging my, my wire tapping. My eavesdropping wire <laughs> tap. Oh, that's fucking. awesome. <laughs> Hear you, device. Right. <laughs> Asshole. So we don't trust when new equipment yeah. just pops up in, in studio. So that apparently was an XM radio that uh, was placed precariously close to Opie so he could see the pad data, which is the little shit that's written on the bottom uh, during a break. Usually so this it just has say, the phone number this so you would just have, uh, Opie, Anthony, Bill Burr, maybe. Right. They would say that because that's, you know, who's talking. Later right. on it would be like Penthouse Girl or something. Um, and... and you needed that whole little it. device just to... Yeah, yeah, th exactly. Thank you. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not buying it. That's what when you're shock jocks. Yeah, we're I'm shocking, all right. It. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with shock jocks either, because I think they probably do it in the 70s channel station, too. I think it's like, it's like Stalinism going on in this place. <laughs> You can't even walk to the bathroom without being on ten different you cameras. You are on <laughs> camera. Just... Have you noticed the amount of camera video cameras in this place? I'll Try to them not in be on camera. Try and not be on a video camera. You can't in this building. Everywhere you walk, you are being looked at. Peekaboo, Bill. Filmed and ca yeah. Yep. Well, that's the future. That is the future. Um, it's it's here and now. Anthony Erock just handed me an instant feedback that oh, simply says, "As much as I want to bash him, you told Steve, not Erock, about the bunny story." Yeah. Um, oh, really? So Erock, uh, I went into the back office after I got off the phone with DC <laughs> oh, and shit. said, "What is this bunny story?" And then somebody informed me that Steve was told and just wrote "bunny story" down on his notepad. Bunny and, story. And walked to the back. So I asked Steve, and he said, oh, <laughs> Travis said he was pulling this. Oh, so, don't get Travis involved. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I had no. to. Well, first the of all, passing of the I again. hate to have to do this, but E-Rock, I'm sorry. Thank you. All right. Wow. For once, you're not the fat slob in the room. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's saying about you, Mars. That was nice. That was very touching. <laughs> yeah, what an apology. <laughs> I was just going to say, there's, there's a change in open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is. Why? What, I don't the, know. The apology? Yeah, no, you're just... It was you're nice, just, right? You're, yeah, and you're not giving off the... Uh... Remember, we, we always talked about how silently we both broke each other down the first time we met each other, and I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah. that guy's me. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm not fucking with that guy. No, because I, <laughs> I, kn me. I know yeah. me, and I see me and Bill, and I'm like, uh, uh, yep. no fucking way. He would go to the same ugly place as I would. Yeah, but you don't, you have, you don't, no you're not like that. Way. And like he, he used to have like uh, Opie used to have there was a there was a I don't know a red tint to his skin <laughs> from decades of rage. Just rage. It's it just uh, rage. somewhere in the neck, and you just saw it. And I'm just like, I'm not fucking with them. And yeah. I, when you started to do the apology, I didn't see any of the rage. Hell no. I'm like, it's just, it's gone. No, oh, it was it, like a 28 Days Later guy. <laughs> just full of that rage <laughs> disease. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's still there mm -hmm. when it has to be. Oh, yeah. it never leaves. But it's nice to, no, it's kind of left. It's nice that I don't have to deal with it every day anymore. Trust me. It must be nice to have a day off, off from that. What? From, like, rage. Oh, yeah. Just, like... Hey, I, I was had a told whole day off. It was I was nice. I was told by someone that might know, yeah, that I suffer from irritable irritable depression. <laughs> oh, I thought it was irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> well, I have that too. <laughs> what is irritable depression? You get I don't know, you're just so annoyed all the time it just brings oh. you down. Oh. 
Yeah, but, but no, this is the thing, though. About but ha- she said that I I don't really suffer from that as much right now. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah but having yeah, like a think. temper is it's just like being a drug user. Where you, you're clean for like six years, and then when <laughs> you when you when you way. fall back, you pick up right where you left off. No, dude, you're gonna go right to. I the, look uh, forward to that day. You're gonna go right to the penthouse it's next not- time you, <laughs> when you flip out. You know what? It, there's some fun in, that's involved with all that. Of course. Oh, oh you know what? I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, uh, last week, I'm staying at this hotel Midtown. I can't. I can't believe I forgot to bring it in. Maybe because it's so damn early. You should have seen the memo that they sent to everybody. Uh, the day before the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Oh, it was really? so hilarious because they had to act like they weren't warning people, and they had to act like they were celebrating the culture, and they're like uh, something, uh, whatever. Attention guests, uh, just to let you know, this Sunday is the annual Puerto Rican Day Parade. The Puerto Rican Day Parade happens on the first Sunday of every June, and each year over 4 million Puerto Ricans <laughs> come down to celebrate, <laughs> as well as others, another 4 million in the outer boroughs. So it was Holy just basically. Shit, that's a warning. And that was totally. And they just kept talking, celebrating and a parade and a celebration of the ethnicities and 4 million Puerto Ricans had it like. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's like. <laughs> All guests, back to the compound. Pull back. Retreat. Puerto Ricans. Yeah. They, they still, you know, they just have to cover themselves. Yeah, yeah. In case, you know, you, have, you go for a walk in Central Park. And maybe you, you, get, you get finger banged against your will <laughs> up against one of those beautiful weeping willows. The hotel should have informed us. That's a complete liability issue. They just want to know that. They inform their guests. One of the, they're not going to be caught in a wilding episode. They, 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 they totally, and it was the nicest paragraph ever about Puerto Rican culture, but the whole subtext was there's going to be a shitload of them. Four million Bengal tigers yeah, walking they're, around. They're, going, they're beautiful animals. Endangered and they were species. Endangered, right. They're beautiful to look at. One, uh, what was the one year where it was just all hell broke loose? That was a long time every, ago every, already. Every guy's girl was getting groped. That you was know like 2000 or 2001. Not every guy, but yeah. you know what one it was, bad though? parade, it, it you're, was, you're fucked. It was. It was ridiculous. Been... The video that came out of the, those, I know. those incidents. They cracked down. There hasn't been like one bad issue, issue, though, with the Puerto Rican Day Parade since that. No. But everyone just goes, oh, you know what happened in the Puerto Rican Day because, Parade? Yeah, but... Girls are getting f- carried around like bowling balls. <laughs> 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 no, and, and before that year... Everybody would go because like, you want to go look at all the hot Puerto Rican girls. Yeah, and yeah. Then it's just like wow, well, hoochie you know, mamas. Yeah, I don't want to. Want to uh, yeah, it was like live Telemundo. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. fantastic. And they had the memo in the hotel, huh? Oh, I wish God, I brought that's this. Great. Two things. I was also trying to find one. Uh, this email this girl sent me after I did my my Tonight shows. Oh, I, I told you that one. The no more shiny suits. Oh, shiny yeah. suits. No more shiny suits. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. They. Oh, Your here's blue collar, some of the, is blue this the wilding. Yeah, Danny has found some of the videos. I just I just saw some booty and some shorts. There's and I decided some to clean ass them. hanging out of the bottom of shorts, and the store owners used to like board up their stores and everything mm-hmm. after the wilding episode. Because one year, I don't know what happened. They just went crazy. Started just ripping girls' clothes off. Uh, like off Bill in said, the it was two thousand, two thousand one, somewhere That's around hilarious. there. Hilarious. But I like down how the women with, don't like, water and beer and you women don't have any responsibility in it. Like ripping or they, what that that. G-string she was wearing. <laughs> I just came here to celebrate my culture. Well, why don't you put some clothes on, sweetie? But the, but the fembots would say that women should be able to wear whatever they want, Bill. Bill's putting the blame on the, vic- no, on the victim. I'm just trying to get some callers. I, 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 I actually An agree. old trick. I actually agree with you. No, it's one I mean, of the... You see some of these outfits and you're like, come on. If I was a caveman, this oh, would yeah. be illegal. Just bonked on the head and dragged into <laughs> right. the cave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Banging that thing like crazy. <laughs> Why don't we take our first break? Bill Burr is here. Uh-oh. L- oh, look at Travis. What happened? Travis is panicking. It's the first oh, break Oh, right, time. right. Travis is panicking. He doesn't know if the button's going to work. i got to grab this new mouse that I don't Oh, I no. Use. This oh. is insanity for well, Travis. Where did E-Rock go? Because we were onto something with the E-Rock bunny thing. He blamed Travis, Eating. but he was also blaming Steve. Yeah, I think there's a little misunderstanding. Uh, there's a lot of buck passing. But I wanted on. to get Erock's thoughts on Steve's uh, fake sick days. Yeah, yeah, that is a good one. Because Erock, Steve's already I'm gearing under up. The weather. He's already gearing oh, up by placing look, cold medicine around his office. God bless Erock. He he he. 
He started Look running. At his attempt. No, he was running, and then he ran like three steps and said, "Nah, fuck that." He did that slow jog that you do when you're crossing. I was and ready the to give him a major red. compliment, like, "Look at Iraq move." Yeah, but this really is the hallway of shame. <laughs> if anybody <laughs> catches you, you have at least nine minutes of airtime where people can trash you before you actually get into the studio. You can't look good walking no, up that hallway. There's no way. You're well, right. When we came here. They they offered us four or five studios the same size. We're like, oh fuck! But as soon as we saw this studio with the long hallway, we're like, we could have fun with this fucking yeah. hallway. You could see anybody coming. That no one's surprising you. No. That reminds me of those comedy clubs. Like the worst comedy clubs, the bombing are the ones when you oh. get off stage, you have to walk back through the crowd. <laughs> through the crowd, every, yeah, just the well, everyone just about. looking like, ah, Jesus, you dude, suck. you suck. <laughs> yeah. No oh, good, your day job. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking you, ninety rows of that. Oh, you just hear sucked. Yeah. <laughs> you're unfunny, you're an asshole, hack. <laughs> next, right. next guy. Yeah. You're funnier women. <laughs> what, what do you know on Steve's fake sick days? Um, I don't want to really trash the Come dude. On. They seem to be, fall Wait, on a. You front. said you said I I don't really want to trash the dude. Is that what you just said? That but, means you but, really want to trash but, the dude. They seem to fall on Fridays and Mondays. <laughs> and um, yeah, like in, in the case of the, I'm not saying he's not sick, but in the case of the, the last sick day he took, I got an email like early Sunday afternoon saying that he had, uh, I guess, sent a notice out to you guys to bladder and cross that uh, there's a possibility he may not be in tomorrow. He's not feeling good. So he wrote, OK, and then I'll get something in the morning. I'm not coming in today. So he, he, it's like he prepped you, so saying I may not be coming in, and then all of a sudden Monday comes, I'm not coming in. Oh, if there's if it's, there's an email from from Steve that says there's a one percent possibility I may not be in, <laughs> he is absolutely not coming in. <laughs> it's textbook sick day crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake sick day crap. No, we used to see it a lot at when we were still over at CBS. Mm -hmm. There'd be. Uh, what a, there'd be days where all of a sudden it's like he's he's not it. What and some people didn't know he wasn't coming in. Look, we we've all faked a sick day. Of course, I don't understand people that are sick for only one day. I yeah. hate the sniffles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, remember Cindy Brady got the sniffles once, and uh, her mother uh, was very upset. <laughs> but sometimes you can't tell because if if I'm in the same office with him, and you'll turn around. And he's kind of breathing heavy, and he's soaking wet. Well. Like, he's, he's just sweating really heavy, but he's been sitting in the same chair for an hour. So you're like, how is he doing this? But he's been I that have way this forever. swine flu. <laughs> <laughs> sweating. And he has cold medicine on his desk? And four open cans of Monster Energy drink. Oh, oh that's shit. smart. Oh, my God. And uh, a large coffee, a cocaine, <laughs> and uh, some and, barbiturates. And some crystal and, meth. Amphetamines and yeah. crystal meth. And, right. Well, now we have a um, – there's three huge boxes in the office because we, we don't have any more space to put stuff in. There's a huge monster refrigerator, a stand, and a big inflatable monster can that are now in the office Why as a gift for Steve. Why so small? Pop that fucking balloon. <laughs> you bring it in here. I'll take care of the problem. Right. <laughs> yeah, that problem will be solved. And uh, then I was told that uh, we may be getting some more ONA merchandise coming in finally. Really? What? But there's multiple boxes, and they're asking, can we store it in the office? So there's going to be no room to walk in that right. room. See, why are they... But, but I, I need the didn't... space. I, I can't... <laughs> Who wants to store the shit? I need the yeah. space. Who wants to store shit in our office? Everybody. But, but when are we going to get it? respect? We, we have Never. equipment from the old studio that we're not allowed to use anymore in boxes <laughs> so in both offices. Out. Just throw it in the hallway. Someone will come yeah, or lob it into the hallway. Someone just, will come along again. Or maybe it. you want to take them home. They're the old uh, Paltaw cameras and, and the lighting fixtures that we had. Oh! You want those? Shh. Keep it quiet. No, just, <laughs> why, just store them at your I'll house. Just, I'll, store, I'll store them at my house. Okay. Thank you. Show me the box when I leave. <clears throat> wow. I'm wiring that house up. I Mother swear. I said I was going to do this. Wire that house wow. up. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. So Steve will be sick tomorrow or Friday? Uh, probably Friday. Friday. I'm 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 thinking I may be sick Friday <laughs> or Monday, perhaps both days. And then Thursday of next week, so when we're off on Friday. Very rare <laughs> possibility, though, so it, don't worry. I'm sick. I'm not coming. <laughs> I point zero zero eight percent chance. Eight percent chance of sickness. <laughs> oh, my God, it hit me. <laughs> classic. All right. <laughs> Fucking classic, man.
Well, when we get back, we got the bunny story. Oh, finally. Remember that song, uh, You Light Up My Life? I certainly do. I think we brought this story to everybody. Who knew? But we got an update on that guy. Yes. You know the song, right? The mm-hmm. Dirty Birdie. What, who made it famous? Debbie Boone? Debbie Boone made that famous. You um, got a little taste of that, Travis, for Bill Burr? I believe there was a movie called You Light Up My Life. You know this song? Oh, I know the song, yeah. Oh, nice. Man. The oh, guy wait. who wrote this song is a bad, bad He's boy, a Bill. He's a dirty, dirty boy. Yeah. Good for him. We'll tell you next. It's bad. And what was the other thing? Oh, did you see that that guy got off for... Uh, he, song. Sorry. That guy got off for beating up that girl. What, you know, those two people banner? who aren't really famous, but for some oh, reason Brown? they're like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chris Brown and He Rihanna. didn't have to go to jail. That's one for us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Every once in a while. You get every, get every, once, every once in a while. You know, that's like, you know... It's like every the old Brooklyn Dodgers. Every once in a while, they win a World <laughs> Series. Them bums. Every once in a while, you can slap them around. Oh, <laughs> and the story of the day, Nixon. The Nixon tapes. This I read Holy and just... Holy uh, shit. You know, Tricky Holy Dicky. Been shit. dead for a while, but he lives on with these tapes that he used to decide to just... I have to hit record. Oh, yeah. Everything needs to be recorded in my White House. I don't Everything. like him. He uh, is uh, a Jew. Jews. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the colored. <laughs> like every anti-Semitic, uh, racist. This motherfucker recorded everything. Where's Henry Kissinger? My head Jew. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is just a hoot. Once you, once you hear what this is. Uh... I'll read the headline. Nixon tapes reveal blank stunner. Yes. Blank stunner. stunner. And we'll wow. tell you what the blank is wow. after wow. the wow. Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Opie and Anthony with Bill Burr. Hey, I want to say hi to everyone listening to us on the Sirius XM app. Yes, on their iPhones. I hear the app's doing very, very well. It is. People are loving it. I love my Do apps. they have one? Can, can I use that on my BlackBerry or no? Did we no already idea. have this conversation? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, boy. I, I, my, uh, I believe you can listen to XM, best, uh, Sirius XM, ever. on your BlackBerry, but just in a different way, I guess. Yeah. You can, how, how Did you get the new iPhone, Anthony? Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. That's so funny. I love like, it. People just don't, don't you remember the last time it was what? a piece of shit and it was overpriced no, and then a few great. months later? Oh, yeah. That's it's going to be great. I said. Yeah. Okay. Now this is we'll great. See. You're gonna be screaming the about it in a week. Fucking, the video nah, is he amazing. Likes it. Uh, yeah, he's, the, the he's, pictures are great. He's got a good phone. Uh, the apps are fucking fantastic. Jesus, I'm, I'm look at it. that phone. That's like that really is from the future. It's the future. It's a fucking. It's my communication device. My tricorder. Everything it does everything. Yeah, but can you? Fucking throw it. I was gonna say there's a lot of trust involved. <laughs> can I you know. get something? How much really? is it? Seven hundred dollars. I don't know. If you buy it like fucking. I don't know. If Next, you're free, if you don't sell yourself into dentures. Yeah, yeah. Next week it'll be three hundred dollars. <laughs> it's sleek. I know. It's, it's sexy, it's now. I hate seeing that. <laughs> yeah, I know when they do that. You buy it's some terrible. nice technology or God damn it, this is a nice phone. Why really does it have to be AT and T? Well, that's what everybody says, but like when does that like contract saying, end? Yeah. You know, if you uh, idiots know, just wouldn't buy it and we just waited till it was Verizon, everyone would be great. we'd be good. But I've had crappy systems uh, with Verizon and, and everything. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. Verizon's great. I've had Sprint. I've had, I've had everything. And, and occasionally you go, fuck, I lost my signal. Mm-hmm. You can be at the bottom of an elevator shaft and get a call with <laughs> Verizon. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why don't we move into some uh, material? Hey. So the guy who, uh, who wrote You Light Up My Life. Yeah, it was a big hit for Debbie Boone. Way, way, I won, way uh, back. Won one of the Oscars. Really for the song? Yeah, really. It was a biggie. Academy Award. Ugh. How does it become a, 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 an Academy a, Award song? It was featured in a movie. I know what movie. I don't know. I think it was called "You Light Up My no. Life." Oh, yeah, they like really? made a fucking movie out of the song <laughs> or some shit. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. The a song was so goddamn popular, based on a three, four minute song. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, well, this is what's going on with the guy that wrote the song. The hands of Joseph Brooks once held an Oscar award. Uh, here today. It oh, here it goes. Today. Oh, today. They're in handcuffs. Oh. <laughs> today he's holding his head in a cell. <laughs> the hands of Joseph Brooks once held an Oscar award. Today they were shackled. Brooks is best known as the writer of the 1970s ballad, You Light Up My Life. Oh, 
Today, a New York grand jury indicted Brooks with 91 counts for sex crimes. He's accused of luring victims to his apartment by touting his connections. He reportedly raped and assaulted them while they auditioned for movie roles. His accomplice? Prosecutors allege this local federal way woman, 42-year-old Shawnee Lucier. Lucier did not respond oh. to numerous attempts. I thought that was, that was audio from the, the rape. Foley artist or something. <laughs> yeah, audio we from need a door knock. Audio from the pounding that one of the women were, had to endure. I love the knocking on. No one's going to answer the door. No. They don't answer. Lucier did not respond to numerous attempts to contact her today. Right. A Manhattan district attorney announced nine indictments against Lucier for criminal facilitation in the fourth degree, each punishable by up to one year in prison. Lucier is Brooks' personal assistant. She's accused of helping him arrange meetings with victims. Nine of the 11 victims, aged 18 to 30, reportedly responded to a Craigslist ad. Oops. You got to watch that Craigslist. Oh. Holy jeez. Guys, can you, re 70s. you can really just do that and, and get all the way up to 91 people before they get you? I know. How fucking long was he doing this? Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We weren't quite ready to lick my sweaty balls. There we go. <laughs> Stop talking and start sucking. I'm going to fuck you in the mouth. <laughs> Hey, what about the cheeks of my ass? <laughs> I'm gonna come down your throat. You fucking well better swallow it all. You let one drop spill and I whip your ass so hard you won't sit down for a week. <laughs> of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. Uh, pitted, so pitted. <laughs> oh, oh, motherfucker. Don't just stare at it, eat it. Oh, for many days I didn't bring him here. <laughs> oh, look at in, in my vagina two times. She was very badly raped, you see. <laughs> oh, victim of the modern age, poor, poor girl. You ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> With song. This one an Oscar? Yeah, certainly did. I'm coming, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I roll over and shut up. Now lick my sweaty balls. Oh, da 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 da. Fuck's sake, man, you're amateur. I'm gonna fuck you in the mouth. Liar whore, liar whore, and you know it. I'm gonna come down your throat. You fucking well better swallow it all. You let one drop spill and I lick your ass so hard you won't sit down for a week. You can get a doggy style, you can get a ling on your side. Those are your only choices. This is my house and I get to say. Stop oh. talking and start sucking. Liar whore. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> See, you get it? He wrote the song and then he raped women. <laughs> That's the point we're trying to make with our comedy. Wow. See? Comedy. You know, be careful, be careful what you wish for. Comedy. The second part of the story. Seven alleged victims are from Washington State, two from Oregon, others from California and Florida. Brooks reportedly flew most of his victims to New York, promising them an audition for an acting role. Prosecutors accuse 71-year-old Brooks of forcibly raping most of the victims. In many cases, they were incapacitated, possibly with drugs in their wine. Brooks is in custody tonight. Meanwhile, Lucier from Federal Way here is expected to turn herself in next week.
What did you know, she you know get what, out of it? You know what he basically Damn, did? Yeah, really. He uh, basically did what they used to do on the casting call. Couches. Yeah, casting couch. Yeah, way he back in school. the day. He went old school. He probably doesn't think he did anything wrong. No, what's I, wrong? He thought his business as usual. Yeah. Yeah. He, didn't, <laughs> what? he didn't realize the times have changed. You want to be a star? Oh. Yeah, I'm going to make you a star. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> Got to break in first. I remember the old days. <laughs> Used to get uh, Clark Gable seconds. <laughs> Fucking guys, just that's all he's doing. Let's go, twenty-three skidoo. <laughs> now making her way down the red carpet. Okay, you want to be a triple threat? <laughs> there was a reason it was the red carpet. Yeah. Oh, ow. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. Uh, remember that girl that had the 56 uh, stars tattooed to her face? I certainly do. The tattoo artist, apparently she fell asleep. She just wanted three stars there. And the tattoo artist uh, 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 just kept tattooing stars on her face. Uh, and it was very terrible of that man. Well, he's to blame, sort of, because, I don't know. She was Is he? She was young. Yeah, and a problem. I mean, a young girl comes in to get 56 stars on her face. Problem, problem. I don't know. Maybe the tattoo artist should have some kind of responsibility, no? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and once you get up to like 23, maybe you can wake her up and be like, uh, well, not even halfway done here, sweetie. Yeah, well. Well, everyone, everyone smelled something as yeah, far as this story goes. Something fishy. Well, she came out yesterday and said that uh, she admitted that she lied because her dad was furious. No shit. Look what she did. So she wanted the 56 stars. She got the 56 stars. She went home, realized, oh, fuck, dad is going to be pissed, and then came up with the I fell asleep story. Look what she fucking did to her face. What the hell? Why 56 stars like that? Well, Does that she have really other bad. tattoos? That is no. really, really bad. Doesn't matter if you have other tattoos. Let's get them on your face like that. Yikes. Can I get a picture of that? I want to have a picture of that. Just hanging on my bedroom wall. And anytime I feel depressed, and I'll be oh, but you know what? <laughs> I didn't get fifty six stars uh, tattooed to the I'm side of my her. face. <laughs> Isn't that the worst when you become the the uh, the example? You yeah, know, like that ends up being the meaning of your life. Oh, I got the sniffles. There's a one percent chance I think uh, tomorrow. Oh, please, please, I be might tomorrow. Be tomorrow. I might not be in. I'll be tomorrow. Please, please, please. Don't touch that. It's infected. I'm a fan of the sick day during the week. Yeah. It's not the, the long weekend sick oh, day. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. I think I caught what Steve has <laughs> homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got the bunny story. We got the Nixon story. Yeah. We got a quickie from the Phillies manager, Chris Wheeler. Quickie? You want a little quick sports yeah, one? Yeah, what is that? This, this one's fun. This one's fun. For all you baseball fans out there. Why are you wearing a Bruins hat today, mm. Bill? I don't know. What? Yeah, Bruins fan? I don't know. Most people like put their uh, their hockey hats away for the year. Oh, and go like Red Sox or something. Oh, you know, I'm I'm you just I'm, I'm I'm fading away from baseball. Are you really? Cause, Cause, yeah, because I got you know why. I just got a feeling that there's going to be a whole bunch of other people that I liked are going to test positive, and I, every time they, I just feel so stupid. Dude, uh, I, I, nobody gave a shit about baseball in, like, 1998. After the strike, the only thing good that had happened was a couple of years earlier, Cal Ripken broke the Lou Gehrig streak. And I, every all of a sudden, you know, McGuire, the year before, he came close. So right from the beginning, and I got on board and sat there like some Depression-era child. Oh. Boy, oh boy, did you see that one? Holy mackerel. Right? <laughs> then you find out, yeah, yeah, they were Fucking on Frankenstein roids. And now one, not, if you you look, feel stupid. Yeah, if you look back, now one person questioned why he was all of a sudden hitting 500-foot home runs. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, these were monster home runs, and no one was <laughs> there. We were all Dude, just Sammy happy Sosa that... was worse. Sammy Sosa, like, was nobody, and then he hit, like, out of, he had, like, a 600 He had, like, 550 of them in, like, a three-year yep. period, it seemed. <laughs> right. And then and then he just sucked again. Dude, that guy got caught with roids and a cork bat. It's like, why don't you just have your friend <laughs> underhand the ball to you? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Dude, I was watching the other day on those uh, on, on the Yes Network. They they replayed uh, the, the game six of uh, the 1996 World Series when the Yankees, you know, finally got back on track and won a, won a World Series. Dude, you cannot believe... 
how skinny they are. Yeah. I was looking at at their uh, the and uniforms are tight. I was going that guy. That guy looks like a chick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should like, be wearing high heels out there compared to the like, guys. In no time, monsters. Just monsters. Big, giant monster arms. His point about Sammy Sosa. Get Sammy Sosa's lifetime uh, stats. Because, uh, yeah, out of nowhere, he started hitting a lot of home runs. Oh, yeah, he yeah. hit a lot. I think there was like two guys ever hit over 60 home runs. He did it like three years in a row or something. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> How the hell do you do that? Steroids. Steroids. Yeah, and they said, you know, that he was one of those guys that uh, gave that anonymous, that anonymous uh, uh, little thing that they had to fess up to. Uh, it said you did him, and then it came out because it's not anonymous now. It looks like, uh, it looks like uh, Sosa started doing steroids, I guess, for the 98 season because in 1997, he had 36 home runs, and then in 98, he had 66. <laughs> How do you do yeah. that? Come on, stop. Dude, wait, but and in, then he went he went 66, then 63, then 50, but I think did he play a full year when he hit 50? Yeah, okay. And then he went back to 64, then 49, and then uh I guess the bones started getting brittle and then he faded out 40, 35, 14, 21. Oh god. Yeah. But before that, before he hit the uh 66, he went 33, 25, 36, 40, 36. No, we're close to 66. Yeah, no. I mean, those actually, a lot, lot of those numbers back in the day were when you're the home run crown. 36 to 40. Oh, I know. You were right there. Yeah, yeah. For a while, that was it. Uh, yeah, two of my brothers never came back to baseball. I'm barely back. I like to say I'm a Mets fan, but honestly, I'm not. No, the stats. I'm the not st- a rah rah watching the Mets every day. That's for sure. I take a little peek. I look at. I look at the, you know, uh, the sports page every day. But I'm not. The stats I'm just from not that a era, fan like I used to be, are ridiculous. Everybody's just like 19, 26, 15, 860, 920, thousand <laughs> yeah. twelve, forty eight. Two out of baseball. <laughs> out of baseball. Had it. So, so now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure, because I look, all I got to do is just cover six weeks of sports, and then you go into football, because uh, hockey mm-hmm. and, and basketball will go right to the second week of June. I figure you got the U.S. Open, mm-hmm. Wimbledon's next week. Maybe I'll watch a no, fucking... Wim- Wimbledon started, I believe. Oh, it did? Yeah, you know. It, I mean, it takes a few weeks. Who could really watch that, though? Come on. Now. Yeah, you and then maybe... You uh, watch tennis. Some of the tennis is all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I like tennis. You watch that? And the broads get out uh, there not... with the little short skirts. I'll... All right, that ain't Bending bad. over. I know. I won't watch, for it. I won't watch every fucking, Do that. you know, match, but <laughs> nah. Yeah. You ever walk around the U.S. Open out there in Queens? Why would I do that? It's a good day. Yeah? It's a good day. Yeah. Bring one of your broads. Yeah. Bring a broad. One of my broads... It's a good day. You walk from court to court, check shit awesome. out. Then you go into the main uh, Arthur Ashe Stadium and check out a big match. Yeah. The doll or somebody. Bunch of bunch of disgustingly rich people walking around. I don't know. I can't. I'm, I don't like tennis. It's not my number. It's not even close to my number I one like sport. I like tennis, but. so it's like why? Uh, it's just a good day is all I'm saying. I'm not saying you're going to yeah, be like, holy shit. But a good day is like shit. fucking hanging out in the yard. You got, yeah, but you got beers. You got the got nice weather. In the yard in the yard. You got a lot of nice good people watching out there in Queens. People watching in the hot tub. And every possible food you could ever want to eat. They know how to fucking do the vending yeah. thing. Oh, my God, yeah. No. That was good. They have like the up and comer, coming one people on like the smaller courts, and I, you can literally sit like me to you to someone who might be the next. Uh... Yeah, might be. Yeah, but you forget their no, names. But they're still great, though, dude. <laughs> yeah. They're still great, though. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. Bill's right. Oh, very good. And I sat in those little courts. I, I've gone to the U.S. Open. I pretty much go to the U.S. Open every year for one day, and I probably saw like the star, the the people that are now stars today. But I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. I, I would like to go back in time. And go. What? I saw her. Is that oh, that fucking our big tennis monster? God damn! Is God this damn, chick the best you, fucking tennis? Look at her tits. She's getting she breast reduction not surgery. Bill, play tennis with those. They're fantastic. And, and those are anchored down, and they're still moving nicely. Three sports, a sports bra. Sports bra on top of yeah, a sports bra. Dude, on... she is a phenom. And I'm not talking about her tennis skills. Look, Look at that. not a, when when a girl has. Uh, Breast that big, there's usually something else going on with their body. Not no, this one, man. She's working out like a she's mad got woman. Ridiculous legs. Look at those things <laughs> bounce and fuck it. They're fantastic. Bill, what do you think? Uh, yeah, that, does, that definitely doesn't suck. <laughs> but you know what? Her ass needs to be a little bigger for those titties. 
No, I, no, that you know no, what that that's looks what I'm like? At. No, that man. nice slender body with the huge tits like that. Come on. And they are just. They are sound t- like now you sound like fucking Patrice yesterday. What? Jesus Christ! What? Had a penthouse chick in here. <laughs> She's all hot and everything. And Patrice is just like, I understand how you white boys like that shit, but. <laughs> I need a little more, you know, ass on that. Oh, <laughs> speaking of which, and then after the show, you ran out? Yeah. Uh, Mars and Patrice were all excited about one of these uh, video whores. Yeah. That, the, for, you know, the black the black videos where they have the video girl. It's a whole thing in, in the in the rap videos. Oh, one yeah? Of, one of the girls was here. She was, like, the top Damn, one. Damn, really? And they're like, fuck that, fuck that penthouse pet. And they bring her over. I guess she was at Shade 45. Nice enough. What was her name, Mars? Melissa Ford or something? Oh, my God. You know Melissa Ford, too? Bullshit. Really? Wow. Punch, oh, punch, now I, I feel like an idiot. that bitch up. Now, let me tell you I something. see that bitch. Mars, later on in the afternoon, sent me a picture of oh, Melissa she's a, Ford. She's a legend. And she was ridiculous in the picture you sent me. But what I saw live was no big deal. The picture was amazing, though. You sent later in the afternoon. Get over there, Mars. Yeah, she yes. was here yesterday. Nice. Yes. Um, yeah. She didn't look like that, Mars. Because she wasn't wearing a G-string. <laughs> well, all right. All right. And, oh, that's uh, all right there? Ah, see, look at that. Patrice, ass is too fat. Patrice and Mars Dude, no, were like, what? What? sorry. What this guy? Patrice. The, the ass is too perfect. Patrice it's likes no. it. Huh? No. Anthony, please. The, too fat? Honestly? Uh, it, the, that That's retouched. You can nope. tell. The ass is And way. the ass is too big. Look, look the at the arch. The ass is way too big. Look at the arch. But and then it goes out and like a back. It looks like, it looks like a fake ass. No. And no, we're yeah, going to lose. No. Look at Danny. He's very happy. Oh, Mars is very happy. Yep. Big ass. Cooper are very happy. Mm-hmm. Me and Show you me lose. another one. Give me another one. We lose. Give me another. I can't get into that huge ghetto ass, man. Can't do it. Nope. Can't do it. Nope. Won't do it. Nope. A nice shape. No, no, nobody's asking you to. <laughs> you know, yeah, I but that's what guys do. Like you know? He's forcing you into it. <laughs> right. But this is what we do as guys. Nope, I can't get. Look at that. Get Come the on, fuck get out of here. Fuck you with that ass. Stop it. Oh, no. Get out. Look at her fucking thigh. It's hanging down uh, below the fucking top of the stool. She got a giant fucking ass. Fuck her. Fuck her. Fuck her. I'll tell you, fucking two minutes with her, he would be sold. Oh, yeah. No for life. way. For life. Hell no. No way. Okay. Dude, she was definitely. The only way I'm being sold by her is if there's a race war and we lose. Wait, so I should have got a picture with <laughs> Melissa Ford yesterday, Mars? I yes, didn't sir. Know. Yes, Jesus. sir. She was, she was definitely very pretty in person, but fine. No, that's yeah, a, that's ridiculous. a different girl we're looking at on the computer screen. No, it's not. And, and Patrice was trying to explain. <laughs> no, it's pa- not. Patrice was trying to explain to me. He goes, in the black world, she is everything. In the white world, you whiteies don't know about, him, about her. Ah, is that hot? I- <laughs> Holy shit. Is that what that looks like without the clothes on it? That's not a real no, thing. No, that's that's yeah, got to be real. Out of here. I've seen that in like stores, pushing shopping carts. <laughs> you're like, fucking, that's Wait, magical. So you're into the Melissa Ford? I, yeah. You know be- her? I'm into beautiful I, women. Dude, she I, is didn't, fucking I didn't even know her. Did not even know who she was. I ain't. Uh, no clue. No I fucking. Well, yeah, you it. missed. Uh, she's a, if Look, I know her, if I know her, yeah, she's a legend. I'll admit she doesn't have a, one of those giant asses, but it's oversized. Yeah, it's well, a big ass. You guys like big, bigger asses. There's like extra meat or something. Yeah, something going on there. There's something like what is it? Muscle? Fat? What is that? It's muscle. Uh, listen, white girls don't have that extra layer. Listen to Jimmy the Greek. He'll explain it. Um, white girls don't have that extra layer. You're not. You're not. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, it's true. There's some white girls. Line up the white please. girls. Yeah, I know. The there's a girls. white guy who can dunk a basketball, but generally speaking, we, yeah, uh, we're you. grounded. Okay. Thank okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> In general, the white girls don't layer. have that extra fucking layer of whatever it is. It's like a shelf. It is a shelf. And then there's like, there's I'll a, tell you the most insane. Yeah, that's weird. That's just the taken most insane lens. shot I've ever seen was in that the uh, one of those Outcast videos, that big boy one. Where that girl was dancing. The end of the video when they shoot up at him, dude. Her ass is like I I, I don't know. It's like those ones they used to draw in Marvel comics. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to describe ah, it. Shit. It's like literally. That's a great way to superhero it. girlfriend ass. I don't know. I um. Who is that? Danny's. It's my favorite. Danny's punching the table. Uh-huh. Why? Who's, who is that? Who's ass we looking at? This is a chick. <clears throat> She got kind of famous, I guess. Her name is uh, Kira Augustina. She just came from like uh, some weird like ass fetish uh, let me message see that, board. Let me see that uh, picture all the uh, way to the right with the little pants thing on. All right, let's see that. That's her. 
Oh, all right. All right. This, all see, right, there's nothing wrong with that. That ain't big and fat right. like that other that one. That right there is what's known as a fanny. <laughs> a fanny? It's, a fanny. It's perfect. Fanny is, yeah. That's... <laughs> A fan. That's a that's a medium size. Danny, I, I'm in with the, these pictures. These are this chick is nuts. These no, I'll tell you, you know these pictures are a lot different than the Melissa Ford yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now pop up her again. Pop up that rat. That ass is manageable. Chick again. Oh no, right, that's yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. She oh broke. god. Yeah, but that's that. That's that angle with the yeah, camera. Yeah, look at the angle. That, the that, fucking that, camera's all fisheye. Yeah, it messes it up a little bit. You, you I know, her crack looks like it's three feet long. Right, yeah. you don't have perspective with That's that shot. Silly. That's silly. Yeah, forced perspective. Uh, Esther Baxter, someone wants us to check out. Uh, I want to see well, that's, this. That's, that's Melissa Ford. All right. Yeah. That's Melissa wow, Ford. Wow, that's pretty good. She's got a very long ass. Look at how big her ass crack is. Dude, it's fucking giant. <laughs> Show me another picture. <laughs> I'm trying to have you sell me on this, but I ain't. I ain't. I like I said, Patrice, All right, well, you know, well, let's let's see Anthony's version of a nice ass. Who do you who are you going to put up there? Like, who's who's in your ass hall of fame? All right, well, pull up uh, Dakota Fanning. <laughs> 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 who is who said is that some child star? Of course it is. Who's okay. the ass chick from uh, oh, Darla Hood who, from our gang? <laughs> who's the <laughs> <laughs> who's the ass chick from FHM that they push forward big time? Oh. Uh, I forgot her name. But anyway, with this Patrice yes, thing, so right. Pat- Danny will find it. So Patrice is saying that this Melissa Ford was way hotter than the penthouse pet we had in yesterday. And I just didn't see it that way. No. And he goes, well, it's a black-white thing. In the black world, Melissa Ford's everything. In the white Shit. world, this this Heather girl you guys had in That's is everything. Big. It's nice. What's her name again? This Vita Guerra. It's Vita smooth. Yeah, yeah. See, I know her because of FH, FHM Magazine. She's all oiled up. They pushed her out there big time. Big time. Uh, you know, if you pull up somebody like fucking Scarlett Johansson, that's a nice ass. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, but see, now look she's at that got... second picture. I swear what's, to God, like a problem? lot of those, when they really do like the booty shot, I swear to God, I think they enhance how how big it is. Because that right there, she looks proportioned. That other picture, she didn't. Yeah, right. that girl. Well, they, they rework a lot of that yeah, shit. Yeah, she's uh, a lot of that shit. Vita, filthy whore. Vita, Vita, Vita. Vita. damn dirty whore. God, she finally got naked, huh? There you go. This, Look at, I like that. That girl. it was all about the ass with this Vita girl, and they. I Jesus guess that looks a little. Christ. I guess I guess the numbers were dropping. Is that too much for you? To Is that naked. ass crack too long? No, no that's kind of droopy. That ain't Vita's <laughs> ass <is> droopy. <laughs> They're saying she has the greatest <laughs> ass ever. <laughs> Anthony wants to see a little Cub Scout. Very picky. (laughs) All right. Here's here's the question. Yeah. Uh, A white girl with a really nice ass. You said Scarlett Johansson because you're assuming that she has to have a nice ass because she's so beautiful. I think she's got a nice ass. Name name a white girl that we know has a a really nice ass. Scarlett Johansson. Well, Kim, Kim Kardashian. Uh, <laughs> She's not white. You know what's funny? You ever see the white girl with like a really nice ass? Coco. There's always at least three black guys like following her down the street. It's fucking hilarious. They always have. There's always like black guys hovering around. Check out Coco. Ah, uh, Coco. See, it's that Coco's. Too Coco. Oh, chimp came up. <laughs> you, you bunch of Coco the chimp. There's Coco. Oh God! <laughs> the hell is now going she looks on like there. she has a dick. I'm not gonna That's lie to you. That's like okay. crazy. There's, there's extra muscles in da- there. Danny, can you humor us and and pop up AssParade.com? I love AssParade. You know AssParade. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you don't know AssParade, then you don't know porno. AssParade. Keith and Philly turning us on to AssParade.com. That's Ass a good Parade. one, and also oh. big big tits, round asses. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, damn. Ass, ass Parade. parade. Fucking fantastic. I got to see Ass Parade. What's, what's ass, ass Parade all about? It's just That's chicks with lot big I think I, I got a memo at my hotel asses. about that. <laughs> <laughs> the third Sunday of every June is Ass Parade. A lot of asses going on there. Well, what else do you expect from AssParade.com? Wow, look at that one. Oh, look at the... L- all the way on the that? left. All the way on the left. What, that one? Let me see. Pop that one up. Let's take a good look. <laughs> oh, oh, oh she's got a dirty on. asshole. Holy God. What the fuck? She's going at that cock like a lollipop, though, huh? <laughs> she's digging that one. <laughs> Bill, someone's saying you were talking about Buffy the Body. <laughs> Who's Buffy the Body? Was I? I don't remember. My, uh, me- my memory's shot. Is Nick. anybody else having a problem with their memory? Yes, Nick. Yeah, yo. Bill, you were talking about the girl from the Outcast video. It's Buffy the Body. She, oh. she could have won the horse award. She what? 
She could have won the horse award. If you look at her ass, that's the biggest ass in the industry. That's a god in the black world. Buffy the yeah. body. Let's that, look, yeah, that. Buffy the, Let's Buffy look at Buffy the, body. the body. Yeah, she said when she when Buffy she used to go to Ventura. school, they used to call her Duck Booty. Duck Booty? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's, why she, is that good? She was all self-conscious about it. They're saying yeah, that... She does, Go ahead, go she ahead. got something called the thunderclap. Like that's that's what she's famous for. She makes her ass clap like Get real, real loud. Get out of here. She makes her ass clap. Wait a clap minute. Wait, is that loud? her? I don't. Is that her though? Yeah, that other girl looked like she was actually a Get little classier the fuck than that. Get out of here. Someone is saying that Coco has ass implants too. Is that yeah, true? Yeah, apparently she, she got that shit done in Brazil. That Coco, Ice T paid for all that. <laughs> Look How at you. you. What's You're an in ass the implant? How do you? Ah. Ask- Dude, that's not the Dad right girl. That's here. not the right Get girl. Get the fuck out of here with the that's ass clap. That's not the right. That can't be the right girl. Ass clap. Would <laughs> <laughs> you go out with a girl that like can ass clap? Why did she look? She looks so much cleaner clap. in the video. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no clap over here. No clap for me, thank you. <laughs> All right, punch it out, guys. All right, All right, thank you. He was in the know, that guy. What is it? I don't know if he's. Wait, wait. He's, what's an ass? Oh, here we go. Here we go. What makes up an ass? That's not her. Who's this? Apparently it's Buffy the Body. She's ass clapping. Do you find that attractive? There's, uh... Are you digging that, Danny? Yeah, I don't mind that at all. What? Well, fuck? That ass has a life of its own. Yeah, that's just... Oh, that's a good time right there. That was... <laughs> oh. That's not the That's not the girl from the Outcast video. That girl... No. I'm not feeling that. He's the. Just put put up to that. What the what the fuck is that? Uh, can you go to Super Tangas? T A oh, Super Tangas. <laughs> <laughs> Danny fucking knows it all. <laughs> yeah, I was just showing Mars's website the other day. Thank you, ah. Chris from Boston. <laughs> all right, this is Super Tangas. Oh, super Tangas. <laughs> this is where that this is where that other one came from. This is that website that. Uh, all right, all right. Look, Kiro Augustina. Came these from. aren't bad asses. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's so a nice... deliberate the way. These aren't I was bad like, James asses. Kirk. These aren't bad asses. Yeah, they're definitely better. They're a lot better. A lot. Super tangas. Super tangas. Look at that super tanga. <laughs> See, that's there's nothing wrong with that right there. That's that's a great that's, ass. That's a great ass. There you go. It's not fat. It's not. Mars just pointed at that picture and went. <laughs> 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 he made a sound. <laughs> he just wanted to see it. He went. <laughs> <laughs> Super de- wow, yeah, yeah, okay, that's that's a sight. As as I, can't, I don't know Spanish, so I don't know where. Where does it say next? Where's the next page? <laughs> How about the arrow? The, the arrow right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's universal. <laughs> right. <laughs> Transcends language. Hey, the ass. Anthony Billy B in Queens writes, "Oh my God." This is a good line. Hold on. Where is it? Uh, oh my God! I just saw Buffy the Body. She looks like one of JJ's Good Times paintings. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. Good Holy times. shit! That's a good one. Oh, Stacy Keebler. There you go. An amazing white ass. Good okay. job yeah. to Matt C and Bloomfield. Is she dead? No, she's all right. I don't know. She's you never around. know. You mentioned as a wrestler, boom, a boom, girl, boom, and boom, boom, let's boom, see. Pow. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. What is this? Scrolling like 19 fucking 98. Wow. Yeah. If she. uh, This picture. Nice. Nice so far. She's got really long legs. Good. Really nice legs. That's why why it's taking so long to load. I swear to you, this is like 1998. Downloading a picture. It's it's coming down like a slow curtain. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. There's nice. Yeah. See, that's that's manageable. Look at you. That's manageable. Yeah. What's the matter? You need a little bigger? So what? You know, that's what makes the world one. go round, Anthony. Nobody's Certainly saying. Certainly is. Yeah, Mars. Jesus. I got what another you one. You were saying when I was fucking saying that that's big. You're like, what are you fucking crazy? Right. I didn't say she go wasn't good looking. Yourself. I was like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Mars, what do you got? How about Jessica Biel? Jessica Biel with the yeah. nice white ass, like Jessica right? Biel. <laughs> but she's not all white. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. There you go. She's not all white. She's I nice. don't think so. I think she's got a little something going on. Nah, in there. they're all whores. <laughs> also, uh, Daphne Rosin's coming in. Rachel Starr. Rachel Starr. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jessica Maximus. Oh. Who's that? Kim Jesus, Kardashian. That, that might have been the Fuck worst. Fuck Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is so fucking overrated. It's Thank ridiculous. you, Bill. And I'm going to tell you why. Thank you, Bill. I'm going to tell you right. why. Go ahead. Because, look, if I, I just saw her, that you, look. I don't understand how Reggie Bush can get with her because I, I get it. You get with the girl. She's been with other guys. But to have actually video documentation that not only you saw, 
everybody else saw. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just see her, and I just, I don't know, I just pictured she just has jizz on her. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to be uh, steam cleaned. I think her sister's <laughs> way hotter. But I'm alone in this one, Bill. You, you seen the sisters? The the other one? The short I just, one? You know what I just laugh hotter. at is how hard, like, how many bathrooms are in that house so Bruce Jenner can behave himself? Oh, right. You know, if yeah. Woody Allen gave into that fucking mess of a chick that he fucking married, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Bruce Jenner and his that's, lesbian that's hair disaster. just losing his mind. Oh, did you see that thing when they were talking about the nose job that he got? No. Oh, that awful fucking nose job. Yeah, evidently he, he didn't like his nose, which he looked fine. Right. And uh, he got, I guess. They fucked it up? Yeah. It was the, the whole thing was just classic. Someone who gets plastic surgery where his nose looked fine, mm-hmm. and in his world, everybody couldn't stop looking at it, and didn't give a shit about his gold medal. So he goes out and he gets a nose job, Aye. and then people are like, "What the fuck did you do? That looks bad." Uh, what you do to yourself? Yeah, and then for like the last twenty years, he thought I, like like everyone was just sitting around still talking about it. It's like, no, <laughs> we weren't. <laughs> You're bad acting on chips. Eclipse. Oh God! Look at that lower right hand corner picture. Yeah, he looks like an old lesbian. That cannot, oh, <laughs> that's a God lesbian. Damn. If you didn't know Bruce Jenner, you would go, that that has yeah. to be a lesbian, an old lesbian. That's Chaz. Uh, that's co- Sheriff's daughter Chaz. Witness protection. <laughs> Kai, a altercation here. <laughs> how about Kai Toy, no? Anybody on that? Who? Everyone's uh, coming up with their favorite ass. Uh, Pinky is the one who does the ass clap. Ugh. You don't like Pinky? All right. Pinky. All right. And Crystal Steele and Brandy Taylor all coming in. Yeah, Brandy Taylor. Mm-hmm. All right, now wait a minute. What was this? Oh my god! Look at these two. They're so fucking excited. They're, they're co-conspirators and <laughs> asses. They just show each other ass pictures <laughs> all, all fucking morning. Hey, here's a white girl for you. Yeah, this, uh, this girl's right. delicious. All right, let me get a little look. Nothing but white. Nothing but white. Nothing yeah, but white. There you go. Oh, oh no! Nice. That is a fat ass. <laughs> That's a Lexus, nice. Texas. That's a fat ass. <laughs> no, there you not. go. That's from. Uh, Crazy! <laughs> why do you guys like the bigger ass? You guys love fat ass. <laughs> I just. Well, what are, what are you going to do with that. tits? Can I ask you a question? What is the yeah. thing with big tits? What are you going to do with them? I'm talking about. I don't like big tits. I don't like like giant like that, fucking that, nasty that sloppy tits. That girl, where her body was out of proportion. She had like triple F fucking titties, she looked, and she had the no, ass of a D's. seventh grader. You those s- are D's. You suckle on them, Bill. Suckle because you weren't allowed to when you were a baby. Aren't for any you guy, aren't, aren't tits uh, fucking what, boring to what, most guys after like eleventh grade? You can't grab a girl's fucking ass uh, that unless it's fucking giant. <laughs> you need a giant size ass. No, you get no, an I'm ass. You can wrap your hands around it. You know, I always forget. <laughs> what does the big ass say? <laughs> you know, what is, Anthony, what you, what Anthony's about just these guys like a little. They like uh, the big ass. Wait, I gotta hear. I don't girls. know. I just was looking at like your little bony build, and I'm just you and another little bony chick. I just picture you in like a little white trash trailer, <laughs> two little bony, dirty white people just banging away in there. <laughs> <laughs> and just yeah. picture him riding Anthony and his awful bony legs just sticking out from underneath him. Holy with shit. With his dirty Reebok still on. No! That is not the way I have sex. Yeah, a little Mind George you. Foreman grill in the nightstand. <laughs> Mac and cheese just oh filling the air. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, right, Mr. Fucking uh, Universe over there with your body. I'm not. What are you talking I'm just, about? You know, I'm just, no, I'm a mess. Laying dude. there, Mr. Diverse. City with your red fucking pubes. Shut up. <laughs> it's more of a uh, burnt sienna. Uh, all right. John, John on the phones, he says, Sarah J looks like her ass is on a hinge. You guys know Sarah J? A hinge. You know Sarah J, too? Yes, yes. They How the know fuck them do you guys all. know all this? They know them all. That's when you're jerking off too much is when you actually know. You just know the names, what they yeah. look like. They're fucking... The movies that's, are in. That's like when you, the it's, tape. it's like when like the NBA draft's coming up and you know already know all the draft picks' names. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. That guy was on a fucking uh, Mammoth State out there in fucking Montana. Really, dude? Really? I, you know what's fucked up, though? I'm pretty impressed with their uh, uh, knowledge of this. It is pretty hey, impressive. You know? They're like, oh, yeah. Her, that, that. They just know. All right. Uh, Puddle of A's is trying to bring everyone back together. Uh-huh. <laughs> Puddle of A's. He, Thank he you. writes, pig... Pigtailsroundasses.com. I think we know what we're going to get there. Oh, right. This brings everyone back together, though. Pigtails, oh, round asses. Who was that That's one? Sarah J. Yeah, she's all right. Yeah. 
Sarah J's all right. She's I Phoebe Cates, <laughs> as far as a nice white ass. I'm trying to think. Phoebe Cates uh, looked uh, in pretty the, goddamn in the red good. bikini. In uh, the red bikini, you saw there. her tits, right? In uh, Fast Times. All right. Yeah, there was nothing, nothing wrong with that. You know something? There's some... Big Booty Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Big Booty Judy. <laughs> you know something? There's so many of these girls on the Internet. It's almost uh, how is it possible to not even have a good looking girlfriend? I don't understand this. <laughs> yeah, you can just take your pick off the Internet. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, if you just go through like acting, all the arts, singing, right. uh, women in sports, porn. Walking down the street, there's really no there, excuse. Yeah, there are quite uh, quite a few. The phones are just lit. <laughs> Jesse Summers is coming in. I'll tell you what. I want to see Anna, Big Anna, Booty Judy, though. Anna Kornikova. As yeah. far as, I mean, forget about she, she was. Just, I loved all the shit that she got, really like, because she, she wasn't the number one player in the world. Most girls with half her looks would just be sitting around waiting for someone to buy her a free drink. Yeah, And yeah. she got to, like, you know, all right, I'm the 11th best Tennis player in the world. She almost <laughs> got there. This is, this is what's coming up for Big Booty Judy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on. That's photoshopped. Come on. Anyway, so speaking of sports, uh, yeah. <laughs> Although, I bet it at a Walmart. I bet it at a Walmart. And you ever see those, those fucking... That's what Ann was saying. Really... They're pushing the carts. Yeah, with those stretch pants on. They're just giant asses that are... You, I'm captivated it by it. It moves them. differently from the rest of the body. I have to keep oh, yeah. looking because it's just bizarre. It's a freak show. Yeah. You're deformed. Yeah, I you're, fucking you're deformed. deformed. <laughs> <laughs> so this started with a, a sports thing. So Philly's announcer. Right. I might have said manager. If I did, I apologize. Philly's announcer, Chris Wheeler, had something fun to say the other day. Ah. It's a quickie. And he's back up again for the injured Clay Condry. Hey, Retro Night, that was a great tune just then. That was Rock Around the Clock by, Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley in the comments. <laughs> Bill Haley from Chester, PA. What? Whoops. <laughs> Rock Around the Cock. The cock. And he's back up again for the injured. Wouldn't you stop your, your thought at that point? He yeah. still had to go with the thought. And he's back up again for the injured Clay Condry. Hey, Retro Night, that was a great tune just then. That was Rock Around the Clock by Rock Around the Clock by Bill Haley in the comments. Bill Haley from Chester, PA. <laughs> Rock Around the Cock. Oops. <laughs> Whoopsie. What do you got, Sam? Oh, really? Really? Oh, I Sam's just did. come in with a tidbit, oh, did he? Uh, by the way, DJ Scribble's coming in today. Yeah, I see a lot of equipment here. He's going to spin live for us. I hear he, he does uh, some really. Are these now cool real, stuff. authentic turntables? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why? Can you do a little, um, a little something, uh, something? Yeah, I can. No, does he use those uh, those uh, digital discs and then uh, has a computer, or is it actual LPs? Well, it looks that way because the 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 vinyls that he has up on the turntables right now, those are those. Time coded, oh, yeah, yeah, like the Drew Boogie yeah, thing. I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure it's probably gonna be the same. All righty, cool. that is a miracle of modern technology, my friend. Mm -hmm. How they figured that one out, Sam. Uh, you brought Amazing. in the monster, and you you see the monster can is yeah, yeah, the monster can, the inflated, uh, oversized monster can that takes up a lot of room in this small office. Why is well, there yeah, so much a... merchandising in our office that isn't ours? Well, it's got to go with the monster cooler and the four cases of monster energy drinks. Oh. All right. And this leads to Sam's backstage with O and A. Yeah. And now, backstage with O and A. Here is Primetime Sam Roberts. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and it was brought up on the Opie and Anthony show that executive producer Steve C is faking sick and taking days off like there's no tomorrow. We went to Steve himself to get to the bottom of things. Steve, the guys say that you take too many sick days. What, what, what's going on? I know you think I'm faking it, but believe me, it would be a lot easier just to call out than to fucking orchestrate an elaborate scheme. Why is your immune system so weak? AIDS. Do you think you're taking more sick days than anybody else? Not at all. No more sick days than anyone else? Apparently, Opie and Anthony's opinion of the days Steve takes off are skewed. We found the Opie and Anthony interns and asked all of them who takes the most sick days. Who do you think takes the most sick days out of the ONA staff? 
Uh, so far, definitely Steve. I think Steve. Uh, that would be Steve Carlisi. Probably Steve. I'd say Steve. Um, it, Steve? Uh, I would say probably Steve Carlisi. A room full of idiot interns can't be wrong. Why is Steve faking sick every day? Has the pressure finally gotten to him? Luckily for us, Steve being absent from the show has literally no effect on how it sounds. Feel better, Steve. I'm Primetime Sam Roberts, and this has been Backstage with ONA. Oh, all right. We're trying to get something done we here. We can do a do-over. I don't care. You want to do a do-over? Do-over. Do-over, come back. You want to do do-over? From, from well, our break. Well, we got DJ Scribble in, uh, in studio, and I want to hear what he's uh, exactly capable of doing here. You want to try it again? Two over. All right, hold on. I'm going to turn your uh, your mic is now on. Oh, that was me and Dave Navarro, by the way. That was Dave Navarro on the guitar, yeah. Wow, a DJ Scribble in house. Yeah, we're having a little technical difficulties, but I'll figure it out by the next break. For some reason, this ain't working the way it was last night. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened, <laughs> but like, you played it off to, well, though. I was, like, <laughs> trying, I was like, why can't I scratch right now? I'm like, what the hell's going on? But well, I'll fix it. All right, it still sounded good to me. Yeah, well, yeah. That's I had it. I was I scared it to turn it off. I, I didn't know what was going to happen if I turned it off. Yeah, man, me and Dave Navarro got together and we decided to put a whole mashup thing together and just combine what we both do, him coming from rock and roll and me coming from hip hop and dance and just pretty much getting together and having a lot of fun with it and touring around the world with it and just like taking records like Rage Against the Machine public service announcement and mixing it with, uh, I mean, Rage Against the Machine killing in the name of it and mixing it with Jay-Z public service announcement, but going in and actually redoing the entire record. So all the guitar licks, everything's Dave. Wow, I got to hear that Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, mix. I'm going to play that a definitely. Little later, right? Yeah, absolutely. And you're from Long Island? Uh, Queens on Long Island. Yeah, 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 okay. I graduated from Sawanica in Long Island. Wow. And you've you've worked with everybody. Yeah, I've been for everybody from Biggie to Madonna to You knew Biggie? Missy. I was one of Biggie's first DJs. We, it was me, Puffy, and Mark Pitts going around to Checkers restaurants when I was at Hot 97 in in doing the morning show. And doing the openings of, like, Checkers Fast Food restaurants before Big Jeez. even had an album out. Wow. Yeah, it was, it's crazy. I did a bunch of shows with them. It was awesome. I'm trying to think what we could ask them about Biggie. Biggie? Did you, oh, did you like the movie? Yeah, the movie was good. Like I liked it. I think they did a really good job with it. I mean, the the timeline pretty much was right on on the money. Mm -hmm. I thought I thought you know the kid that played Biggie was. I mean, I don't know what other movie he's going to do because now he's forever Biggie. But right. you know, I think he did a really good job. And I got to go to the mm -hmm. premiere and we were all there and stuff. So it was pretty cool. That's all. Awesome. Was everybody uh, who was portrayed in the movie happy? Or I heard a few people didn't quite. Uh... Oh no, I didn't hear that. Who, oh, who wasn't happy? I heard. Uh... The fuck is her name? I think Little Kim. Oh, she was. was I don't know. I, I think the, the girl that played Little Kim was ridiculous, <laughs> right? Retarded. Jesus Christ! You guys see that? My movies. That that, good that movie. one scene was a little. A little <laughs> oh, and she's riding him. Oh my, oh my god! Jesus Christ, dude, it's fucking ridiculous. I'm like Holy sitting shit. in a movie theater, like God damn. Yeah, it's like yeah. they can get away with that. Uh, is yeah. it still rated R? Yeah, it was, no, it's it was pretty. Uh, it's pretty insane. Pretty, that was pretty hot. Yeah, that was pretty I gotta hot. See that one? Shit. I'm looking at some of like the bullet points for DJ Scribble, and we got something in common with him. Oh yeah, I just, what's that? I just realized. Well, we worked with Tracy. Uh, oh, Tracy Clarity. Yeah, we worked with her. Yeah, well, I was there with her from with Hot 97 from like '94 to '98. And they brought her over to K Rock when oh, we were right. over there. She and... fired me actually. Oh really? Yeah, well, because I won the DJ championship. Yeah. Like we, they picked all the best DJs from around the um, country as far as radio DJs go, and it was like this big DJ battle. And I ended up being the guy for Hot 97 because Fleck couldn't do all the tricks and stuff like that. Right. So they picked me, and then I won the whole thing. And then two weeks later, they fired me because they couldn't have me be bigger than Flex. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that a true yeah, story? Yeah, it's a true story. I swear to God. And then I thought my career was over, and I was, like, hysterical, like, in tears, like, talking, <laughs> yeah, crying to my manager, like, how could they do this to me? And then three weeks later, I was on MTV, and I was like, peace. All right, see you oh, later. <laughs> Hey, what was Biggie like back during like those struggling Yo, he, days? Did he just did he need did he just know he was gonna hit or you know it, he just had this persona about him that when he walked into a room, I mean, first of all, he was one of the funniest guys I ever met in my life. He's just hysterical. He's always cracking jokes and everything. But he was like this big, huge teddy bear that just was humble when he was off the stage and just doing what he doing him and stuff. But he when he just got on that mic, it was just this whole other person came out of him. It was insane, yeah. bro. Do you guys ever see that YouTube video of him from way back? Where he's just battling some guy in Brooklyn, 
And nah. he just was, I guess he was always good. He fucking destroys ah. this guy. This guy's like walking down the block. He's still talking about him, and everybody's <laughs> going crazy, <laughs> fucking spinning their the towels and shit. It's awesome. Yeah, Biggie. Is it worth playing on the radio? You well, know what? I think the audio is a little, a little it's a little hard to yeah. do. But it's more like a visual thing. You can tell he's killing them by people's reactions sure. around him. Going, oh! Yeah. No. <laughs> That's what, you know, because so many people today, you know, you can suck and you get in a studio and they can, even you can't sing or whatever, but you can just, well, the guy's literally that's... standing on a street corner sure. destroying this guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what all the auto tune, the, all that auto tune shit is now, too. It's yeah. fucking annoying as hell. You don't oh, like the auto tune? Yeah. Dude, I, I, if I hear, if Roger Zapp did it way back in the days, God bless him, and you know, oh? that Roger Zapp, computer love. Old funk. Mm, nah, You'd know it if I'm you heard even... it. You'd know it if oh, you, you heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that, Travis? I think the first one that really was really popular was Cher doing it. Everybody, Cher did everybody it. Yeah, knew Cher that did one. it as well. But Cher. they were doing it before Cher? Because oh, that's, yeah. that's when I. Is it the knew same thing it. like Peter Frampton did? No, no, no that's talk the box. The yeah. talk box. Yeah, but that was fucking great in the 70s. We didn't have the internet. We didn't like that. Here's that, uh, here's that song that DJ Scribble's talking about. So this was the first auto-tune song? Not the, not the first one, but he but, they did it first. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like I hear you. The whole... uh, yeah, there you go. I don't know this. I don't know this one either. They, they got a different one like that was more... like real big on the, the West Coast. Yeah, that's the only reason why I ever heard this, because L.A. still plays this stuff like it came out last week. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Tupac did it with California, right? California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's auto tune. Absolutely. Yeah, now people are just sick of it. What oh, made people sick of it? Just What, that everybody and their mother's doing it now? And even if you can't sing? Yeah. I mean, you got uh, artists out there that overused. are just fucking... Save me, Fox! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> are you friends with them? Yeah, I know Jamie for a long time. <laughs> I mean, come on. No, I just think, listen, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's a crutch. That's why I'm loving that come Jay-Z on. came out with DOA, which is called Death of Autotune, his new single, which just abuses everybody for using it. Oh, so there you is, go. Yeah, so it's dope. I just, yeah, I don't know. Why did Kanye West, he was doing great, and then he, he did a whole album with that stuff, right? Yeah, he's, he did all the autotune stuff, too. It's like, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, I, I can't. You know what it is? Because, like, there's so much non-talent now coming out, especially in hip-hop. And, God, that's where I started. You know, I started DJing in 1980, and I've been with, you know, Grandmaster Flash and Africa Band Body. 1980? I mean, oh, How old were you, 12 when you started? 11. Jesus Christ. Uh, was <laughs> you were going for the joke, but he really was 11 yeah, was or 12. 11, 11 years Jesus. old. Jesus. So wow. I've been DJing a long time, man. I've been doing this. I mean, I've done every, you know, I was with... In, so at what point did you actually have, like, like a, your career was 14. going? 14. 14. So. I was in a group called the Young Black Teenagers, um, produced by Public Enemy. We were an all-white rap group called Young Black Teenagers, and that's how I toured around. That was my college, touring around the world with Public Enemy. So. Doing. I was, like, one of the first dudes to actually... DJ with a rock group, you know, we did the sisters. So you were getting like group groupy pussy in like, at like fifteen. There's no way you finished high school. You must have been. No, like, I finished high school. Really? I got accepted to I got accepted, no to, I got accepted I to Pratt University School of Visual Arts and FIT. I was an art major. That's how I got the name Scribble. I used to deface public property and bomb trains. All oh, the old school, like yeah, the <laughs> yeah. Old, I, the was death real, wish days. I was a real. I was a real real. <laughs> I was a real, real b boy. Like that's that's what I did. Like I was a real, real b boy. What, what is, does that mean? What does like, bomb a train mean? What is b? -boy? I used to do I used to do graffiti on trains, right, but, but I did bomb. not. Yeah, we called it bomb, I, but I, I didn't know. do just like throw ups, which were called like just those ugly ones. I used to do full murals and stuff like that. Yeah, what's up with the ugly uh, graffiti? I, I, I hate yeah, just the tagging like and stuff. I never really tags. did that. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the stuff is really cool to check out, but that ugly. But yeah. if, if you're going to do something like that, at what time of night do you have to start? There was all different times. We used to go to the um, um, Baychester layup, which was in the Bronx, to hit the twos and fives. We used to go there like 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. How long would it take you to paint something like Depends that? Depends on what we were doing and how intricate. It, everything could be from an hour to six hours. You so. have a great idea and you got halfway through it and then some security <laughs> chase oh, yeah. there and you're like, yeah. fuck! Yeah, well, well, to see how I stupid find we that were. Train again yeah. Now. yeah, no, to <laughs> see how stupid we were when we were kids. Like, if you go to the Halsey Street layup, which was in Queens and on the borderline of Brooklyn, you used to have to crawl, under, hide underneath the park train because you were on a live track on both sides where the trains were coming in. Jesus. Yeah, Christ. we were. We, we were so what, you pop out when the trains aren't. Yeah, then we hide and underneath. And then I got zapped in. by the third rail once, and it's not. You don't die when you get zapped by the third rail. If you just touch it, you get really 
messed up and can't walk for about two hours. Oh, we got a good clip of a guy doing that <laughs> in India. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you used to have to hide under the trains, and then we'd come back out. And then, but we've been chased. I've been chased. Wait a there. minute, you can touch the third. Rail? I did. I did it, and you just get the most incredible, un- hardcore, uh, yeah, I would hurtful think so. jolt of you've ever gotten in your life. As long as you ain't in water and, you, and, you know, I just, you know, got off it real quick, but I, I couldn't move for like two hours. I thought the second you touch that, you can't move and yeah. you just, yeah, you just, no, you it, well, if you fire. get stuck to it and you burn yourself and you die, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and you die, yeah, then you're dead. Yeah, and then you're dead, of course. Jesus Christ. What was the most dangerous uh, graffiti you did? When we got chased out of um, Bay Chester one day yeah. with, by, by another rival crew with guns and they're shooting at us. Why does it always end up with the guns? It's hip hop. It wouldn't be hip hop if it wasn't a yeah, gunshot. It's, 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 it's like, what we do. Can't you guys just. <laughs> well, it ain't hip hop without a gunshot. hands. <laughs> That's why every show. Thank God no one goes to the range though, and, no, <laughs> and learns how to fucking aim. <laughs> yeah, now we got chased by a, another rival crew and they were shooting at us. And we ran the hell out of there. You ever get shot? No. Thank uh-huh. God. <laughs> No, it's never, never yeah, been shot. Yeah, that's not a good thing. No, being shot would be bad. Have yeah. your fucking red spray paint can go off on you and go, ah, well, I'm hit. The night I got, the I'm night hit. I got, actually, the night I got arrested, which was the only time in my life, which was for graffiti, and it was already where I shouldn't have been doing it, and I was a grown up, and I was already in the rap group kind of hanging out. <laughs> yeah, I was like 22 already, 23, and I was already in the group, and we were on tour, but we had like this whole big graffiti reunion. And um, I went to the 111th Street layup on uh, Jamaica Avenue. We're doing just... Was this a sting by the police? Yes, it was. It was. Ah, you knew it. And I was with like 13 <laughs> other people. I was with 13 That's other dudes hysterical. bombing the trains. And then uh, we're walking out and they yoked me up. I was the only one that got caught and got charged with all the all 12 cars. And what happened was, just like you said, a can of red paint exploded all over me because it was cold. And we would do it. They, the police would do in a shift change. So they walked me and I looked, had my hair, and I lost my hat and I have all this red paint over and I have 13 cops escorting me because they were shift changing and they, all these people are walking through the train station like I was this murderer. <laughs> <laughs> you got paint all over you. Did you paint. still go with the, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I just I didn't do my, nothing. Dude, I, I had my, I never Prove wanted, <laughs> I never want to ever be in jail. I never, that was my lesson. Never do anything bad ever again after that. Oh, yeah, beating. all that shit is... How long were you in? I was in for two days in QCB because I got caught on a Friday, so they didn't arraign me till Sunday, and oh. then I had to do, like... What did you uh, see in jail in those just two a, days? Um, I had to use the bathroom you. and hold it because there was a 350-pound woman in the other cell where I would have to go to the bathroom, and I couldn't do it in front of her. Oh. And she was just watching me, like staring at me, like she wanted to eat me. <laughs> and I was just like, no, never absolutely again. not. And I would never go... Yeah, I've never understood that. And that was just s- in central booking. You know, so I was like, I'll never want to go that. through this again. You ever see, like, the, one of those big holding cells, and they'll just have one toilet, like, sitting there, like, where that chair is? It's like, what if you have to take a shit? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what, what she was watching. Do. She's sitting there, and there's the toilet, and she's watching me. And I was like, I held it do for two Do you have to days. be like, hey, guys, uh, sorry about this. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I held it for two days, dude. I was like, I can't do this. No way. It's not happening. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Hey, uh, and we have someone, uh, someone else in common. Who's that? We don't really know the guy, but it's it's legend on our show, uh, Frankie Blue. Yeah. Oh yeah. Frankie Blue. Well, Frankie your... Blue, who who hired me at KTU, he's the one that hired me. Right. At KTU. So. And you know the audio we got of him, right? I heard it that day it happened, and Jeff Z calls me up because he was the assistant PD, and it was just like. It's the legendary biggest... on our oh, show. We play it all the time. It's, it was the biggest. Frankie Blue. What, what were you at the Christmas oh. party? Maybe no, you can get I, more I, info on this. I, I wasn't at the Christmas party. You weren't working no, there I, at the time? I went, no, I was working there, but I wasn't at the party. I was actually DJing somewhere else. I didn't do the Christmas party. You've heard this, right, Bill? No. Frankie uh, Blue, fantastic. there's a Christmas party for Hot 97, Love this and show. everyone got fucked up, and uh, what happened? He came on the radio. He did whatever he did and got on the radio and just pretty but much. But why did he get on the radio again? I forgot. He got he, a brawl kind of with oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the chick. Supposed to be, so uh, he yeah. went back to the station after the Christmas party and there's a chick DJ and I forgot her name. And she got in a, a brawl with uh, Frankie Blue and she walked. So now Frankie Blue has to go on the air. And there's been rumors that you know, he was under, you know, he was fucked up. Was, yeah, Christmas yeah. party. <laughs> but the rumors are it might have been pills as well as alcohol. Yeah, he was definitely on something. And he <laughs> just fucked up his entire career. Yeah, he just pretty much had a they meltdown, f- and that was the end of his life at radio. 
he hasn't been heard from since. Basically. Why did he go on? Was it his shift? He had no choice. No, he didn't have a shift. He was he pissed off the, the girl that was on. Told her to go home. Like kind of oh. almost fired her on the air. He just said, "Look, you go home." Oh, so and he's then, not an on-air then, talent. Guy. No, so, no, but he figured I could take the reins now. I let her go. I'll I'll finish her shift. <laughs> oh. Be the hero here. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Exactly. Do we got yeah. the audio? Please, can I hear this? Oh, Frankie, this we got the stuff. audio. Uh, uh, Travis, we got the Frankie Blue audio. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah listen to this. Yeah, listen to this. It's great. He's I love smashed. this song. <laughs> smashed. It's a mess. Nelly featuring Tim McGraw. <laughs> That's not his this delivery. This is Frankie Blue. Now, you know, for the last several weeks, we've been... Um, <laughs> he can't even speak. <laughs> ...giving you a chance to win $50,000 in cash oh, no. in the Mix 1027 redo and plus win a Toyota Scion. And I think that <laughs> is going to happen tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., Ricky, RuPaul, Kim will pick a winner. And go to that winner's house, like publishing clearance, <laughs> <laughs> or whether it's a house or it's a job. We're coming we, to you, baby. We're gonna find you, and we're gonna reward you with fifty thousand dollars in a brand new Toyota. And um, Zion. I don't, I don't see how you cannot be happy about that. This is Frankie Blue. Um, so make sure you're listening tomorrow about eight a.m. Um, 50 grand prize winner. 50 grand prize winner. That's right. 50 grand prize winner. No, it's 50 grand. (laughs) Of the redo contest of the winner of the Toyota Scion. Come on, baby. You know you want it. If you have (laughs) qualified in the past several weeks... We're going to pick the winner tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. RuPaul's going to dip his big old hands in there, pick a winner, and we're going to find you. And I don't care if it takes all day. It's worth the $50,000 in the car. All right? We have the armored truck. We've got the party patrol vans. We've got the car. And it's not supposed to be doing this this long either. But more important than that, we've got the quick back to the music. So why don't you give me a call? Um, this is Frankie Blue um, for Yvonne Velasquez, and um, telephone number is, if you want to make a request, is one eight seven seven mix 1027 So give me a call. Okay, baby? Thank you. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Uh, that was supposed to be 15 seconds, Bill. And then when he gives out the first, uh, he gives out the wrong call letters. <laughs> yeah. I just committed radio suicide, pretty much, is what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is throwing himself <laughs> on, the, on the knife. Yeah, we need part two to, to bring this all two. together. So then uh, he did this. Mix 1027. <laughs> the new Mix 1027. That's awesome. This is Frankie Blue. And I am so excited for tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow. <laughs> oh. got Ricky Foster and Bruce. Brooks. Coming in in the morning. Coming in in in. Putting a hand in the big old barrel and picking out a $50,000 grand prize winner. The winner of the KTU Mix 102 Redo Contest. KTU. (laughs) And also you win a Toyota Scion. Now what's going to happen is they're going to pull... They're gonna, they're gonna put their hand in the barrel. They're gonna pick out a winner, and then they're going to fight that winner. Winner with everything. Mix one hundred two seven. Frankie Blue. What's that? Talking man? over the fucking vocal. <laughs> You're supposed to not talk over the vocal. I just want to know what <laughs> his thought was process was. Director. I know. I don't know what he must have been I, thinking. And mind you, we were on one hundred three five, not one hundred two seven at the time. And he oh, kept scrolling out the wrong, that wrong letter. He was saying K to you. He had it all. He was reading up. his resume. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he was well, there you go. What so. a wreck. Uh, well, fuck, DJ. Why don't we do something here? What do you got? What do you want to do? DJ, I'm, I'm, up, I'm up and running again. What are you uh, promoting today? Um, well, I'm getting ready to go to Iraq. 
to really? go perform for the USO. I was the first DJ ever to be asked to go perform for the troops. I was in Dubai in October, and I ended up doing the USS Ronald Reagan on a whim. I was out there on vacation, and I ran into these three kids that looked like they were American. I was with my wife, and we just like, I was like, yo, where are you guys from? And they're like, oh, we're in the Navy. We're from Florida. I was like, oh, yeah, what ship? And they're like, the USS Ronald Reagan. And I just was like, what? They're like, you're Scribble, right? And I'm like, yeah, how the hell do you know that? You know, like, right. they follow me, whatever. And I was like, yo, man, they like, you want to see the ship? I was like, if you can get me on that ship, I'll do a show for you guys because I have my stuff with me. So I got a call from the USO. Two hours later, I'm on a military transport out to the ship, and I was performing for 5,500 Navy troops, which was the illest, most incredible gig of my life. What, what was wow. the coolest part of the ship? It, uh, the, I, when I got to sit, sit in the admiral's chair, and then the admiral actually came down and gave me the hat that you can only get from the admiral <laughs> and, the, and the little coin and stuff, which was a real honor for me. Nice. And then I'm getting ready to go to Iraq and go to, like, all the bases in Iraq and Afghanistan and perform for them. And you were wow. in Dubai, you said? Yeah, I was in Dubai. How ridiculous is that place? Thank it's God, the thank most God you get to leave your uh, records at home, huh? Yeah, exactly. New yeah. technology. It's, oh. it's, the, it's so ridiculous. That it's the building. But from what I understand now, they ran out of money, and they're trying to... Well, a lot of investors have now pulled out. Of Dubai? Yes. A lot of investors are pulled out, and they're only... They're not <laughs> even three-quarters of the way done building. I mean, 85% of the world's largest cranes are in Dubai right now building this place up. It's like the most incredible fairy tale land you've ever seen. Hmm. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's I bananas. Love it. So, you that know, fucking it's fucking evil place over there. <laughs> they got those little islands oh, shaped yeah. like every country out yeah, there. It's yeah. like, what sort of New World Order crap is going on? <laughs> that place was a junkyard five years ago. <laughs> There's no way that's honest money. I don't give a fuck what you invented. You don't have enough money to build an indoor yeah. mountain that you can ski on <laughs> oh, yeah, in the place, Middle East. That's crazy. Yeah, the indoor, yeah, the indoor ski resort. They, they're, yeah. they're building the first. Um, NASCAR, they were, were building the first NASCAR track out of the United States. How did they run out of money? I, I don't know. A lot of investors pulled out. Like each, the way the city's set up, it's like taking five Manhattans and putting them in different sections. So there's like media, t TV city, it's called. Then there's Fun City, which they're putting in Universal Studios, Six Flags. Like then they have the Sports <laughs> City with the uh, world's largest soccer. State. Everything is so excessive over the top. It's like Westworld. You guys, yes, see that exactly. Movie? It's like that. <laughs> exactly. Raw. And are these real islands or is that uh, bullshit? No, they the what they islands. do is they go and they drudge up all these uh, all the sand from in the in the lagoon and they start shooting it and build the island out of the sand and then build on top of that. But they make weird shapes. That sounds like, safe. Yeah, yeah one's a palm. Like one's the, the the shape of a palm palm yeah. tree. The other and the other ones are the other ones are going to be the actual map of the world. Yeah. And then they're building a new big palm tree too. Like we stayed in that sail hotel, the the Ala Burj, and we watching them build it every morning. Mm. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's get DJ Scribble to do something for us here. The Rage song, or yeah, what no, it? you want the Rage song now? I well, was what do you got? Play, I was gonna play. You do whatever um, you want. You know what you're doing. Beautiful people. All that right. me and Dave did. Cool. Damn, DJ Scribble, doing that yeah, live yeah. for us. That's pretty fucking amazing. I gotta be honest. I never know what the hell's going on. Like I don't understand <laughs> how the whole thing works. Like there's two turntables going <laughs> and, and a you, microphone. And then he, yeah, you turn the other thing up. Like yeah, well, so, what, the... what is the one on on your right? What is that's just playing the track. You that's came... playing the track, and then the one on the left was the one I was scratching. Scratching, on. and then what you you've... that's the mixer in the middle that controls the whole thing. So oh, now back. I get it. Bill switch back, switch back and, and forth. forth. Bill, oh, give it a try. Okay. No, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> so yeah, it's another one that we went in and me and Dave went in and redid. You know, beautiful people yeah, from right Marilyn on. Manson. That's uh, very cool. Let's go to Michael. Michael, what's going on? Hey, I was in Dubai uh, for some bullshit work thing last month, and yeah, that place it's it's not quite falling apart, but like Western workers are fleeing because if yeah. you lose your job, your visa expires in a week, or you get arrested. Ah, nice. Um, some of the man-made <laughs> islands are apparently sinking a little bit. Oh, that's uh, fantastic. All the construction is just ground to a halt. Like, you see these huge buildings, the world's tallest building. I was there for four days. No one was working on it. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's crazy. It, like, everything has just stopped. Now, I believe you, but I want to know why. They just gave up. Like, is it because the... They're you know, saying that they, excuse me, ran out of money in the I thought, sheet, that, I the thought they were the, the last place that was going to run out of money. I mean, we understand what's going on in America, but I didn't know, you know, it was affecting... Well, you know, the, there's, the, there's no... Infra there's no... All the building that was going on, there's no infrastructure at all. Like, the plumbing and all that stuff, they didn't, like, put that into the plan. 
Like all this beautiful stuff, but there's no infrastructure in the city. Infrastructure, you mean plumbing? Plumbing. Like, yeah, like it's fucked up, like bro. Basic so shit. you can't, if you live on the 70th floor, you got to open a window? I, I don't know how it works, but they, did, they didn't plan for any of that. They just built. You just without, take a dump like, down the about garbage chute. Oh, I see. They, so it's they like they have all these sump, uh, trucks that pump out everything. But it's starting to become too much, and they can't keep up with the Golf sewage. Of course. I'm looking, they don't, I'm looking they at don't have any sewage yes. drainage. I no. get it. I get so it. So you can flush these... the toilet, but you and walk then they out to your car, and you're like, oh, that's what I just shit out of me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. I know there's a bunch of people over here that thought that that was going to be the next big thing, so they went and they bought like these million dollars. Right, and a lot yeah, of these the investors investment. have now pulled out, and now the, sheik said, now the sheik is trying to kick everybody out of the country now, too. Like, it's just they're closing the doors. Like, and plus, it's but just. It's half done. I, and that's it. It's right. half done. Like, he was the whole literally. Proj- that's great. Yeah, the whole project wasn't supposed to be done till 2018. That's when it was supposed to be totally finished. And from what I understand now, it ain't happening. Wow. That guy was literally, the, the head dude over there was literally on 60 Minutes, not more than a year and a half ago. Yeah. And they were just, it was a nice Come on, this is fluff great. piece. Come other on when they exposed here. the people who were building, you know, how yeah. they were treating them. But he was just like, uh, you know, everything's going to be the biggest and everything's going to be the yeah, greatest. They had, they had and, yeah. people working 24 hours a day from most of them were Indian workers from a India. Street viewer there, Danny? 24 hours a day around the clock. Wow. Stephen uh, in Florida. Stephen. Yeah, I worked out in Dubai uh, as an engineer in an airport out there, and the hmm. place is disgusting. They have, they have these uh, <laughs> environmental effect rules that say that because it's so windy and dusty out there that every crane. It's got to have, like, water, like, the pouring down on to keep all the dust settled. So you got a 400-ton crane with a garden hose just sitting on top of it, <laughs> a garden splashing hose. water out, doing absolutely nothing. Wow. The, um, the Palm Island, there's no irrigation, so the water gets inside the leaf and just sits there and gets stagnant. They got to, they gotta, <laughs> who knows how many millions of dollars, they got to do piping between them. Oh, you could see, like, uh, I'm looking at the the palm right now. Yeah, the palm island. And you could see, like, water, yeah, it's sitting in there, but there's no real way for the natural natural tides and waves to kind of move it around. Move it around, so that water just stagnates in there. It's just, it's just sitting there, and it's ah, 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 That's hilarious. All the construction stopped. They knew they were running. They knew that oil wouldn't last forever, so they wanted to make Dubai someplace else right. to come to, even if they didn't have oil. They said, well, we're going to make the next next big uh, next big uh, tourist hotspot. Just and wave. it's all dead. It'll just Damn. become a movie set for old uh, post-apocalyptic yeah. fucking war movies. <laughs> They're going to do Waterworld. Right, man. Yeah, Waterworld <laughs> Part 2. Water and fucking yeah. Mad Max 8. <laughs> just fucking oh, have God. a pisser. Uh, well, this That's guy... funny. You could see that palm. Like, well, yeah, just looking at that, as a layman, you could go... That's got to be trouble. <laughs> That's got to cause I gotta problems. Be honest, that never dawned on me that that would be nope. a problem. Rob in Toronto. Rob. Hi, guys. Hey, Rob. Uh, hey there, Rob. I have a, sorry. I have a feeling that uh, it's, it's a thing that's happening with a lot of countries that, do, uh, that have oil-producing uh, uh, properties, I guess, is that uh, in order to maintain these projects, the oil price has got to be up to a certain level. If not, it's not worth it for them to keep on going. Mm. So... Saudi Arabia and all these guys that have like projects have to have the oil price above like ninety nine dollars a barrel or something like that. And it's affecting stuff over here in Canada even. Wow, that is. I don't know why that's just so funny to me. It really is funny. It, it is funny because a bunch of people. Is it, that can, can you get a list were... of like celebrities who've bought places over there? Because I heard a number of them. Oh, yeah, there's a few people cut, over yeah. there. We're piling on. Supposedly, the guy working the crane for the world's tallest building has lived in it. For the last year, it's too much of a hassle to come down from it. Because <laughs> I guess there's no elevators or anything. Are you right? serious? Is that real? Uh, this guy swears it's true. Chris C. from Virginia. Uh, thank you, Rob. No problem. Have a great show. Thanks a lot. All right. Uh, a couple people asking where they could get your stuff, DJ. Um, it's in the stores right now. The new album is actually coming out um, July 23rd. Uh, Total Club Hits Volume 3. Total Club Hits 1 and 2 are in the stores. We actually had the... Um, Highest debut of any mix CD ever of all time. We debuted at number 14 on the Billboard Top 200, wow. which was pretty amazing. And this is my 26th compilation. Jesus. DJScribble.com too, right? Yeah, DJScribble.com, MySpace forward slash DJ Scribble NY, and then uh, Twitter, DJ Scribble, Facebook, DJ Dash Scribble. It's like 
Mm -hmm. I forget sometimes. And then we're up for (laughs) America's Best DJ this year. And uh, last year we came in third in the country. And this year we're up for number one again. And you could vote on that at um, djtimes.com forward slash best DJ. Cool. You want to play us into break with something? Yeah, man. A uh, little Smashing Pumpkins yeah, and sure. Metallica. You yeah. You like that? Would like that work that. for you? 0202. Stupid news. Opie and Anthony. What is it? Uh, Channel 11? Oh, Channel 11 locally. What are they doing? Some kind of obstacle course? There, there, there's, there's, yeah, two of them doing it. This is the, the news, right? It's the news. And they're do- running this bad obstacle course. And now they're doing these stick the nose, uh, the, the spoon on their nose trick. Meanwhile, like, there's impending nuclear holocaust from Korea. What? There's, there's fucking, uh, 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 Iran is, is, is going nuts with revolution. <laughs> and they're, um, they're running a little obstacle course. And next is the chat room, and I guess they're going to be talking about MySpace. <laughs> Social God. networking Hold and on. how it affects your Dumb child. show already. Where's what, Walter what? Cronkite spinning in his soon-to-be in a grave? Were they? Uh, did they have to get dizzy before they did the obstacle course, yeah, yeah, but they didn't get dizzy it. enough, they so then the whole enough. bit was a bust? Yeah. Because they didn't want to go all in with their dumb bit? Yeah, you know how you like you Doo-doo-doo. take a baseball bat and you spin around oh, it? hilarious and you get all every fu- time. Oh, hilarious every time. Hysterical. <laughs> hysterical. Uh, we'll have DJ Scribble in in a few more uh, minutes to do some more spinning for us. He knows uh, Drew Boogie too, right? He knows, I would assume he knows Drew Boogie. Right, Drew's a Drew's a good egg. Uh, the Nixon tapes, man. <laughs> the Nixon tapes. I love this guy. Last man. we left you with the Nixon tapes was uh, qu- quite a few years ago. Yes, his anti-Semitic rants about the Jews. You know what? I think. <laughs> At this point, they've they've heard all the Nixon tapes, and they, they they know they're so bad that they're like, all right, how many years have gone by? All right, let's give the public a little more. I will give them the one on the Jews. <laughs> let's wait on this one, though. Right. We'll wait another ten years or so because, dude, nobody could survive. Like just the shit I say walking around in my apartment to myself. <laughs> I yeah. wouldn't want recorded. Right. This guy thought it was a great idea to have microphones all over the fucking White House, and just record everything he said. Does, did he ever just sing like random, like vulgar songs uh, that he makes up? But that's what I do. <laughs> you light up my life. <laughs> you give get on the couch. You fucking cunt. You Jew. <laughs> Where's Ben Stein, my Jew speechwriter? He used to write speeches for him, you know, Ben Stein. That's his, his claim to fame. Oh, is that right? My Jew. Write me something the Jews are like, Ben. <laughs> Write me something that Israel will embrace me for so Henry can go over there and make me friends with the Jew. Do you know, I, I read something about uh, Nixon one time. Do you know how they, you know, those uh, FDR, JFK, LBJ, he wanted to be known as that. So he started referring to himself as RN and it, it didn't, it didn't oh, What about RMN? Millhouse was my middle name. RN. Millhouse. Oh, nurse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm an RN. <laughs> <laughs> That's not too <laughs> tough. <laughs> Nurse Jackie, holla. Hey. Anyone? No? All right. Uh, huh? You like the Nurse Jackie? Great it's all right, right? You know, you're She's Nixon. popping pills and fucking snorting Snorting's shit them. and fucking doctors and taking care of patients. Yep. It's what's her name uh, uh, from The Sopranos? <laughs> yeah. You know, Anthony, you're Fuck Nixon them. and you're Vince McMahon. Are, are, are Yeah. Right on. Yes. Let's get into the Nixon tapes. <laughs> Nixon's, Nixon tapes reveal abort stunner. Yes. Washington. President Richard Nixon saw abortion <laughs> oh boy. as a useful option for ending <laughs> mixed race pregnancy. Yes. <laughs> mixed race. <laughs> Newly released tapes yesterday's show. Where are the tapes? We got to hear this. Uh, there's transcripts. I think you could they listen just to the tapes somewhere else. But yeah, yeah. We got to find the tapes. Maybe just hearing it in his own voice is just too much for people to handle it. Go, yeah. this guy was our president? Yeah. Hen- Henry, Henry, look, where's the Hoover? I need the government to back Hoover vacuums. So that when a colored impregnates a white girl, we could just suck out the fetus. 
Is this on? Is my recording device on? Because I want to go down in history as, as being the, uh, the guy, the president that came up with this great idea. You know, Kennedy got credit for a lot of things. And I want credit for making sure sluggies and white people never get together. <laughs> Suck it out, Hank. Suck it out. Get Ben Stein, my Jew speechwriter. I want to hit the press room with this abortion colored white thing. I'm going to be a hero to the white community. The vast, silent majority that wants abortions for whitey and blacky. I don't think that's a very good idea. <laughs> Richard, why do you say... Shut up, you, <laughs> and get me a vacuum. A carpet sweeper if you can't find it. Mr. Nixon. For those that were useless. Are you only going to use uh, vacuum cleaners? No, hangers. Hangers. Plenty of hangers. <laughs> Rattle them around in there. Mix it up and make it come out. I'll be a hero. They'll make statues toward me. No half-breeds. <laughs> No Malaitos. I don't like Malaitos. <laughs> I'm going to have, like, the Lincoln Memorial. There'll be the Nixon Memorial. Showing little aborted fetus parts all at my feet of various colors. <laughs> he thought it was a viable idea. Amazing. Let me run this past you, <laughs> Hank. What do you say we abort with half-black baby? <laughs> well... Richard Nixon <laughs> said, there are times when abortions are necessary. I know that. Nixon told aide Charles Colson on January 23rd, 1973. That's the thing about a black and a white, Nixon explained in the secretly recorded conversation. Or a rape. What is Same that? thing. Same kind of thing. If it's a rape, it was probably a black on a white. <laughs> Jesus. They'll build statues to R.N. R.M.N. Richard Mulhouse Nix. Just write me a speech. It'll be great. Fuck Vietnam. This is what I'll be known for. Pieces of children with honor. See, that's a twist on peace with honor. No, nothing. <laughs> Too smart. Too smart for the room, Damn Mr. Nixon. It. Same kind of thing. You know what I mean? There are times. Nixon told his, uh, his aide in a hideaway. Next door to the White House. What was the hideaway next door to the White House? That was where I was able to say Jew. <laughs> I was able to blurt out all kinds of horrible things. The N word. <laughs> and I, I don't mean everything. Nixon. Nixon. The N word. You fucking Nixon. <laughs> 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 Nixon did not elaborate on whether he actually favored ending interracial pregnancies or was simply acknowledging the prevalent social stigma of that era about black and white couples. I don't even like seeing them hold hands. I'm for chopping their hands off if they're holding hands. Kissing, pull their tongues out. Baby, Cuisinart. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We don't need a nation of mongrels, do we? Let me, uh, let me, uh, what does Spiro Agnew think of this? Spiro, what do you, oh, he's just evading taxes. <laughs> the 37th president did not foretell in the 150 hours of recordings released by his, hours. by his library. Oh, they, so they released another 150 hours? Yeah. Oh, so there's going to be more tidbits in the coming days. What do we do about the homos? <laughs> Got to do something about the homos. They're losing the war in the Nam for us. It's the homos. <laughs> Here, this is this uh, paragraph. The 37th president did not foretell in the 150 hours of recordings released by his library. However, that the 44th president might be just such a child born of a white mother and black father. President Obama was 11 when Nixon was caught on tape. 11 years too late for me, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. I'm Richard Nixon, remember that. Everyone listening, remember, I'm Richard Milhouse Nixon. And I'm a horrible person with horrible ideas. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mr. President Mongo has a question for you. Yes, Mongo. Mongo. 
Uh, did RN stand for remove Negroes? Yes, Richard Nixon, remove Negroes. <laughs> Why did, he do, why did he record it? What, what was he trying to prevent? He was crazy. He was insane. The guy was, was coming out that he was just nuts. nuts. And he recorded everything because he actually thought that if anything happened, his recordings would vindicate him and make him look like uh, the good guy if anyone ever tried to pull shenanigans on him. Because he always thought that uh, uh, people were trying to pull shit on him, which they were, but the tapes... Uh, are anything but a vindication. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Hey. Let's see what else this says. Nixon discussed his <laughs> hey. abortion views hey, while, while otherwise lamenting uh, lamenting the Supreme Court's landmark Roe versus Wade decision that day, which legalized abortion. Yes. To Nixon's mind, <laughs> underage girls might be encouraged to quit using birth control and go get knocked up because of the high court's ruling, oh, he said. that's hot. Stop using birth control. Henry, Henry. Get that speechwriter Jew from New York. <laughs> Write something out about young girls not being protected and getting abortions and having sex with the Negroes. This will be big, a good distraction for me bombing the fuck out of Cambodia. And, and, what, and what would the monument look like again? Uh, it would be a and, big and statue of RN, Richard Nixon, and, with baby parts, baby parts, marble baby parts all over. <laughs> The show. You and could, people would pay tribute to me. You could use the Washington Monument to help with the abortions. Oh, exactly. I could make it look like a big abortion vacuum. Yeah, people forget about the Ho Chi Minh Trail and think about the old Moana Baby Trail. <laughs> Distractions. I want fetuses bombed like Cambodia. <laughs> escalate. <laughs> yes, we must escalate. Uh, <laughs> withdraw troops and withdraw mulatto baby. You know, it's fucking him. Uh, the guy's the guy's completely out of his mind, but he still became president, he even though president. he he he's actually credited, I think, with one of the biggest comebacks in in, uh, oh, yeah. political, in politics. Yeah, where he he lost the election to Kennedy, and then Damn he not Kennedy. Had, he liked the colored. I don't. Never did. Never trusted them. Kennedy trusted them. Look what it got him. A bullet in the head. You're still Richard By Nixon, right? Guy. You're still Richard Nixon? Of course I am. Okay, right. I'll be with Richard. As long as I speak into this bullhorn, I'm old RN. <laughs> this is parody. Get it? I love this song. It reminds me when I was a door gunner in the Nam. I never was. But it reminds me of. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, That guy was a pip. He had uh, microphones like in paintings and desks and everywhere in the fucking White House. And some of the sh some of the stuff like the anti-Semitic shit he did mm -hmm. with um, Henry Kissinger right there. He's telling Henry Kissinger about the Jews. Like <laughs> like Henry Kissinger doesn't know. <laughs> Like what Jews are are, and like look where they live and and what what they're dealing with. Yeah, I like this one. Who was the the colored gentleman that did this? Jimi Hendrix. Died of a drug overdose. Yeah, terrible thing. Set the Joker to the. So we must find some way out of here. They're yelling from the womb. Richard, help us. Suck us out. <laughs> hey, if you're a fan of the Richard Nixon tapes, we're going to go way back around 10, 10, 10. Oh, wow. We're going to play two classics. Classic From Nixon. the WNEW days. Love it. Hey, can you, where, where can you listen to those 150, can I download that on iTunes? Oh, I, know, I want every bit of that. I want every second of those tapes. Those are what, PDF files, though? I think those are... Um... Nah, it, <coughs> there's links to the audio as well. Oh! Uh, unfortunately, the descriptions aren't so great, so it's kind of... You're not entirely sure what you're getting, but uh, well, all the getting, MP3s are there. If you're getting cookies, Give me Nixon. a bacon, egg, and cheese. Yes. <laughs> what is, uh, yeah, you just go to... You want some outrageous <laughs> recording, it's just like... Ah, oh, the old bitch is up again. <laughs> Make me breakfast. And then just... <sighs> Him asleep on the chair. 
<laughs> Henry, you want to think you scared me? What's going on in Hanoi? By the way, you Hanoi me. <laughs> it's a tricky dicky joke. <laughs> There you go. Ten ten uh, this morning. We'll play more Richard Nixon stuff. Nice, old school. Yeah, going back, way way back. Uh-huh. We could seg into this if Richard Nixon's still around. Uh, this is from a uh, hey, a nineteen eighties. <laughs> I had the shingles for a while. Remember when I got the shingles? No, I don't remember. Never that. knew what that was when I heard it as a kid. Now I'm me talking like Nixon through Nixon, <laughs> channeling Nixon. I had the shingles. Uh, 1980s PBS show. Listen to this. Sock it to me. Listen to this. Sock it to the fetus. I say. <laughs> I'm laughing when I said sock it to me. I want the vagina to open up like those wacky doors. I'm laughing. And have a bloody fetus fly out. Can me make that happen, Henry? Ben, get on it. Write something the Jews are like. They support me. Because I hate the Egyptians. Because they're close to, you know, those people. I like this. Oh, a little Credence. Credence Clearwater Revival. There's a bathroom on the right. That's what it sounds like. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Homo. <laughs> Love the music of the time, but it was so weird. It ain't me. It ain't me. You ain't having a son if it's half black. <laughs> no, you ain't no Malata son, no. <laughs> you ain't no fortunate one. Look at you. I fall to pieces. Oh, no, no. Each time. <laughs> From a 1980s PBS show. Listen to this. You look like a boy, a little boy, a little black boy. Everyone says I look like a black boy. You think I look dumb too, don't you? No, you look sort of like a black person. Oh, go away. Leave me alone. What the hell was that? <laughs> Where, where's uh, where's no, what, Sam? What, what lesson... Where's Sam? Let's Sam. Oh, the next Sam. Thank like, God. Here he comes. Here comes one that would have had a hanger through his head. <laughs> Thank God you were born after Richard Nixon's. Exactly. Uh, you would have never made it out alive. <laughs> Swear to you, you'd be in pieces at my feet at a monument. <laughs> Look at that hair. Says it all. You have hanger written all over for you. <laughs> Henry. Henry. Pull one of my suits off a hanger and get it quick. I don't think it's too late for this one. <laughs> what, did, what did we just hear there, Sam? Well, it's like a PBS show from the 80s. It's like a like a, a drama series. Mm-hmm. And I think it's it's almost like a, in the vein of the after school special. Ah. Where it's, you know, helps kids deal with stuff and everything. And this girl gets a perm. This little white girl gets a perm and ends up with her hair in a tight Afro like shortish looking hairdo. Like yours. Like well, mine's a little longer now. Oh. Shorter Before than the war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shorter than yours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like just a little afro. And so uh I guess the insult that people keep throwing at her is that black she looks boy. like a black boy. <laughs> what year is this from? It's from the eighties. I don't know exactly which I don't year, but it's remember the eighties being that crazy like that. Oh yeah, they were. Yeah, were yeah. they? Wow. People are racist. Well, Billy said I look like a black boy. You look like no such thing. It looks cute. It does not. Oh, come on. So it doesn't really look cute so on a black cute. boy? Besides, it's just a perm. Your hair will grow again. And it's not like you're really black. <laughs> Jesus. Are you Holy shit. Me? What is this, from 1880? No, 1980. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's it called? The name of the show? It's on the playlist. Uh, many Voices, Many Visions? Yes. Wow. What were they trying to teach? That it's, you know. Tolerance. (laughs) (laughs) That's how they did it in 1980. The white people don't need to feel bad for themselves because at least they're not black. Just kick her out of the house. Leave her her at the foot of my monument. I just love the idea of having a monument. Oh, is that a picture? Yeah, see, that's a little girl. (laughs) 
That's a girl? That's Billy making fun of her, saying you right, well, her like... hair does look stupid. But she doesn't, doesn't look, like, look a... like you either. She doesn't look like a black You look like kid? a boy. <laughs> a little boy. A little black boy. Billy said I look like a black boy. <laughs> <laughs> does not. Oh, come on. He looks like he's Billy claymation. <laughs> yeah. It's a but she. It's just a perm. Your hair will grow again. And it's not like you're really black. Jesus. See what it... Everyone says I look like a black boy. <laughs> you think I look dumb too, don't you? No, you look sort of like a black person. <laughs> oh, go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> Billy said I look like a black boy. You said I look like a black person. I stay with you when you have the chicken pox. You don't have the chicken pox. You look like a black person. <laughs> Holy <laughs> mother of God. <laughs> See, it's racist. People. I cannot believe. What was the purpose now, of that? You know what probably happened was then they had to have a character that moved to town who was black. And then she understood what he was going through, oh, being isolated. Right. But let's look at that and last. She grew her hair longer and made fun of him. Let's look at that last line, though. She's basically saying that being black is way worse than having the chicken pox. Oh, hell pox. yeah. That's what she was saying. <laughs> Jesus. Chicken pox, you can get over. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Damn. It didn't even appear to be a show on racism. It was just like on how to deal with the kids making fun of you and stuff. It just really comes across as not having a purpose except to <laughs> say black boy <laughs> yeah. a lot. It's really awful. Wow. Hmm. All right. That's, it uh, was a bad haircut. I will well, give her that. I definitely... would be crying uh, with that, I, although I think that was my haircut back in the uh, Back in the day, I went to Disney uh, once with my parents when I had uh, a huge afro and I was probably about nine years old. And this um, woman, a uh, black woman that was working the ride, she had a pretty big afro. And she goes, honey, your natural's bigger than mine. <laughs> my natural. <laughs> so she called it a natural. Black people like my hair. Of course they do. They don't like say, they've asked me, how do you get your hair like that? Have they asked it's you to gross. get to braid it for you yet? Oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. Can you yeah. make that video, please? Like we oh, like snoop man. where half of it's braided. <laughs> oh dude, you need just... cornrows. I would do that. Let's get someone in here to braid it. Let's braid half of it. You want to do that? We uh, should do that. I want. I want him to go ghetto prom. Let's ghetto mean? prom it up. You know where it's like, oh, you can make it into a helicopter and stuff. Oh, like where you, you mold it into things. Yeah. As long as they don't have to take any scissors or uh, dreadlock it. I would like to Let's just see it, it cornrows. Let's do a cornrows. A cornrows? That'll look uh, pretty good on you. Right, we'll do a little cornrow action. It's Carmelo yeah. Anthony it. You guys want to... Why don't you get it, like, straightened? Get it relaxed. <laughs> and just get, like, a pimp haircut. What would that look like? There you go. There's, There's the, the helicopter, helicopter hair. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no shit. All right, I don't want to do that. That chick's hair is a helicopter. <laughs> That's, That's fantastic. That's obviously <laughs> photoshopped. Please tell me. No. 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 Flat iron. Flat iron that <laughs> shit to get the blades no. looking like that. Oh, if the rotors work, can we actually fly that over the Atlantic? <laughs> I'd pay for all the hairstyles. <laughs> no, that's real. So no, dude, that's that's real. obviously a joke. No, no, somebody did not. No, no, somebody did not go to the prom like with a helicopter. That's <laughs> the prom dress with the pregnant belly cut out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> ah, Jesus! They Christ. cut out the middle of the Where prom dress, so the belly the... sticks out. It's online. Yeah, it's online. Uh, it's got to be true. It's on the internet. Internets. Yep. In, in, <laughs> intertubes. The. Uh... <laughs> That's fantastic. The helicopter hair. Oh, you know what a new rage I have? Oh, when I get... <laughs> going to the prom, yo. They're just going to the prom. Where's DJ Scribble? He should play us into break. He's right outside. And we got Bill Burr. Bill, you uh, promoting anything? I'll be at the Punchline in San Francisco. Oh, right, right, if right, this right, is right. legal to do this on the show anymore. <laughs> I'll be at the Punchline in San Francisco on July 13th, Monday, for two shows. You know what kind of people live in San Francisco? The gays. <laughs> Weren't you from California? The home. I was from San Clemente, the home of the Western White House. A lot further south. No homos could reach me through the, the uh, uh, what were those mountains called that you have to go over to get past uh, to the homos? <laughs> I forgot. The grapevine. You can't get over the grapevine. The homos can't make it over there. They think the grapes are balls and put them in their mouths, and they stop. I lived in San Clemente. 
<laughs> that was a nice button you put on the end. Of... <laughs> oh, that tricky dicky. Oh, yeah. All right, we got oh. DJ Scribble in house. <laughs> DJScribble.com to see what he's up to. He'll play us in a break, and then when we get back, Jason Ellis is stopping by to say hi, right? All right. All right, DJ, it's yours. DJ Scribble helping us out today. You know Drew Boogie, DJ? Yeah, he's Dude. You like uh, you like Drew? He's yeah, a he's a good friend he's of really, ours. He's really dope. Extremely talented. He's a very talented, dude. Yeah, he comes in and, uh, and does uh, you know the mix thing every once in a while. For yeah, us, he's so. really dope. He could cut. He's really he's nasty actually. Wow, now I have more respect for Drew Boogie. I didn't know <laughs> DJ Scribble knew uh, Drew Boogie. Yeah, he's nasty. He's v- DJ cool. Slice. And what what's the big plug today for everybody? Um, up for best DJ of the year uh, according to DJ Times. Uh, came in number three last year, and you can go to vote. Please vote djtimes.com forward slash best DJ. And you can check me out on myspace.com, DJ Scribble NY. Right my I would think that would get you a lot of free cocaine, that title. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Ellison Studio. <laughs> yeah, I do all right. Yeah, <laughs> you do all right. You could probably get chicks to put ecstasy in your ass, right? Yeah, pretty much. You ever done that? Is, that better? Pop- is it better that way? <laughs> it is yeah. better that up way. Up the ass? It is. It's always yeah. better up the ass. I've always said that. <laughs> no matter what it is. No, I have a t-shirt and a tattoo that says it. That's, I stand by it. <laughs> it's always better yeah. up the ass. Yeah. I think that was a slogan for United Airlines back right. in uh, 75 or I think, something. I think one of them was re- yeah. reading it to me on the plane. That's mm-hmm. not. It's fantastic. Ecstasy up the, up the ass. ass on that thing. DJ, yeah, it works good. You, any, any drugs up the ass there, DJ I've Scroll? never done ecstasy up the ass. No, you've never no. lived until you've chucked an E-bomber up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I've also said that before. I heard it hits you a lot faster. It well, does hit well, you a lot faster. It's about. And when you do ecstasy, a lot of it, I used to always want to poo when I did ecstasy. If you shove it up your ass, you, you don't want to shit because you know you shit You're out your ecstasy. It. And it's like a mental thing where your ass goes, hmm, we're going up instead of out today. Which is because right. I hate, I don't so the, the greatest feeling when the when the XC kicks in, the greatest feeling is usually my fucking forty five seconds on the bowl taking a shit with my eyes rolling into the back of my head. <laughs> if you get somebody to shove it up your ass, yeah. then that you, you get eyes rolling in the back of the head in the club with a chick on your dick. You know what I mean? That's the fucking. That's what is the buzz different? Not as heady. <laughs> wow! I thought you were like a professional. Is, that is was it, hilarious. Is it a little different? <laughs> it is a little different. Yeah, it is. It comes on faster, and I think it's strong. You get more money, more bang for your buck, so to mm. speak. Yeah. Wow. Bill, damn. I just the ass. <laughs> no, I haven't even, Never? Haven't even taken it orally yet. Uh, really? No. How old are you? 41. <laughs> ah, too it's late. Just, no, you're done. Yeah. You I, like, missed, I like that. It's like a bad it. thing. You can, ah, you, you missed smoke, out on the ecstasy. It. You can yeah. smoke the kids' marijuana these days. The kids' marijuana will fucking trip your balls. It's no joke anymore. Yeah. Used to be smoke, bo- smoke, I used to smoke weed, go to the skate park and learn a new trick. I smoke weed now and I'll fucking wake up in a, a, out of a coma with my dick halfway in a chocolate cake. <laughs> Shit will fuck with your mind. In, the old, in the old days, you just got a bag full of like fucking shake and thought it was great yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, Miss You're Mickey. You're a big fat joint. You just smoke and go, yeah, I'm high. Now it's like... The fuck! It doesn't even look like pot anymore. It looks like some kind of shit that turns into those bean pods. That hybrid, fall, fall asleep a next hybrid to of a hybrid. Fucked like up, eight-headed fucking wildebeest yeah, with like veins in it. That yes. are actually pump, pumping. There's blood. arteries in it. It's pumping blood through the fucking. It's Hulk weed. Yeah. Dude, and, you should you should see L.A. now. With the, the, it's like it's Starbucks now. Let me really? tell you a story yeah, about that. Because you're talking to the guy who has the license who ah. fucking goes there. I, I'm old and I've got kids, so I'm not allowed to smoke weed anymore. But I do from time to time because that's how I rebel and get connected to the kids. Because I believe that I, you know, I mean, the future needs to connect with the kids, and the kids are high. So I, I, I just do it for relating purposes, which is a lot, which is a lie. I, I, I like marijuana. <laughs> so, but I, I, my whole life, I've wanted to do it legally. Yeah, Amsterdam, I did it legally, but you end up getting a blowjob from a hooker, and it takes away from the excitement. <laughs> you do of getting... everything that's legal. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the so, whole yeah. fucking I got a doobie at the store, kind of after you just fuck five hookers and you, and you ask one of them to so you jack up in front of them for seven dollars fifty. <laughs> Shit starts to wear off about the marijuana. Yeah, but the but the marijuana now in LA, I go to a store, I walk in, and I go because you know, man, I'm a, uh, you know, thirty seven, I pay taxes. I'm not a millionaire, but I make all right money enough to walk in instead of asking for a bag of marijuana. I say I'll just take a pre-rolled, and they're like, and they're like, which one do you want, sativa or whatever? Because you know, there's different things that it'll do to your mind. Because it's not the same anymore, man. The things that it does to your mind, you can say, look, I want to fucking relax. That's, yeah, that's what I was getting to. It's yeah. Just oh, really? It's designer yeah. shit. Yeah. Or you can say, I want to be creative. Get that, the fuck out of here. I swear to God, dude. That's I, fucked up, man. You're just going, oh, just I want to get creative. creative they, they, have, they have one where you get high, but you don't get sleepy. They get rid yeah, of that whole no, getting sleepy. Yeah, it's crazy. But you still, sativa. All the medical. You're going for it. Your mind versions. is shredding. 
And, and, and these places are popping up all over California now. Right? There's no a reason of, to buy illegal like... weed anymore. <laughs> that's the, that, that's and all the you have to shit. get a, a note that says you got migraines or something, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That's it. Well, I had. I mean, I got. I broken twenty five bones or whatever. So, so I just showed need. the lady my ankles. She was like, "Oh my god, you can hit here your you license. go. Whatever you want. Yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. Take whatever you want. Please just get out of here. Just put your shoes back on. <laughs> it's, but, we're going. To, we're going to legalize this shit. Yeah, it's, it's going to be our so lifetime. Awesome. That's, that's crazy. Isn't it the greatest thing ever? I think everyone gets to drink. This fucking all you can drink in a bar. All different colors and different fucking cans of shit for you, but you're not allowed to smoke a fucking joint. Like, when was the last time someone smoked a joint and did something really bad? Except yeah, but that's because it's drugs. That's true, yeah. I mean, alcohol, it's, it's pure. Alcohol's a drug. <laughs> wow, that was such a fucking Ku Klux Klan comment. <laughs> no, I just, I just like listening to uh, people like always flip, alcohol's a drug too, man. And they go off on that I think it, I, think, I don't about? think alcohol, I think tobacco. It's <laughs> dangerous. If you, if you make... Uh, tobacco legal, then marijuana should be legal. That's all I'm saying. They should just legalize what, all. Bill, you've been yeah. in some of these places. No, no, I you don't I, really I, smoke. No, I, right? I can't. Hand, I can't handle the fucking paranoia. Do they have a? I'm not going to get paranoid. It? Yeah, no, they have an old. Like I'm just trying to get back into the game weed. <laughs> <laughs> Just for you. I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll take that. Just tell them. Tell what them. if like, I was man, never, I was never funny. in the... I got the... kids and shit. Don't fucking freak me now, out. Give me some mellow now, juice. Now you're talking my language because I really, I think I want back in. Do you know what I'm going to hook you up? I back in with this, this uh, crazy uh, fucking this... over the top shit. Dude, I'll hook you up with the lollipops. They have lollipops that are lightweight yeah, Rogan shit. Has, Rogan, Rogan has turned Rogan us on to the that. lollipops. And they, they barely do anything. And if you're a rookie or you're, you're just getting back into the game, it's sufficient. Same as they have the I'm back in single A. I'm single A ball right now. Dude, that was my mistake. I went to the Black Diamond. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I went right back to the oh, you want to hear Black the bl- Diamond. I got the Black like, Diamond. All right, let me. Holy shit, am I <laughs> fucked up? Because it's like a hooker going back into the game with a 12 inch black cock. <laughs> yeah, you got to stretch that get out. Get fucked slow. straight back out of the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta I, stretch I got yourself, high man. once. I got high once, and I didn't like the whole smoke. I just didn't like the, the feeling of that. So then I tried. I ate two and a half pot brownies, and I went to the oh, airport. Huge mistake. Why went to the to fucking airport because air, I had, was flying to Costa People Rica. People can fly. This is fucked up, <laughs> dude. I was so freaked out. I wanted to just get up on, the, stand up on the plane, and admit to everything. That's how fucking yeah. paranoid. <laughs> Eating it's harder. Eating it makes you even higher. It's, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, like that's, that. That's what I hear. But Anthony, it, it, you you admitted on the show that he he got back in the game, and it was just I did for a little while, and it was crazy, right? For about I would say for about a month. Yeah, and and, and the first time, hold on, like, the first time you got high after all those years, yeah. what, what was it like? Just holy... fucking great. But were yeah. you like? But well, I was so fucked up. Yeah, and then after that, it started. Turning... <laughs> Isn't it always the way fucking great ends up being so, so fucked, fucked up? up? And then it got to the point where I, I, if you have a couple of beers, yeah, and then smoke a little, I, I was fucking. It, no matter what I was doing, poof, asleep, gone, fucking. Yeah, the beers don't out. work. The beers don't work together. I but I love mix. the beers. Well, you got, you've, you've still got the beers, correct? Yeah. Well, yeah. didn't just fucking be happy with that asshole. I I'm am. not allowed I'm to have any beer. I got kegs in my house now. You, that's what, oh, that's rub it in, why don't you? Fucking oh, he's me got too. two kegs. He's pot got... told me I can't smoke pot. I'm now kegs in my house, Yeah, he's got fun life I'm the and opposite. Guinness. I can't drink, so I so you got... grow, grow weed all over here. I don't grow weed. I just go to this fucking goddamn weed Starbucks. Half the time I go and buy it and I don't even smoke it. I just I just can't get over the fact that, you could just that go I walk get in and I'm now. like, hey, so what are we talking about? This strain, that strain, what's that one do? Really? Buy it. What are those lollipops? Are those drinks? Are those ice creams get you high? Well, fucking give me some. Ice Fuck creams. you, I pay taxes. I make more money than everyone in this goddamn building. Everybody give me a piece of all your weed. <laughs> and then just it's, leave it in the car, legally. It's like completely fucking... Okay. So good. Yeah, and you could smoke it in public, or is that a problem? Uh, you can allegedly smoke it uh, in Venice Beach in public. Yeah? Yeah, I do that. Because I heard, like, you could buy it, but you got to, like, fucking rush home and smoke it in your house with nah. a blind shot. I walk, or out, I walk out with the steel. I have the, the pre-rolls, and it comes in the glass. So you, you can take a puff. Put it back in the glass, seal the lid, and it extinguishes it, and it's like it didn't even happen. <laughs> oh, is there a little prescription label on it and shit? It's the sickest thing ever. I know. Oh, sometimes I'm like, yeah. you're my only fucking that's friend, fun. man. Oh. I swear to God, I, I love you. Fair, you see this because you're out in LA. Yeah, I got, a, see it I got a couple buddies of mine. They like one dude really fucked up his back, and just the quality of shit that he. He looks mm. at just like the illegal stuff, like people making beer in their bathtub. See, like, why, why yeah, would this, 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 this horse shit? Lying? See, I, this shit? I thought there yeah. was maybe a couple places out there, but you're telling me it's like popping up like no, Starbucks? No, people are starting to complain about it. Like, I, I think in yeah. like Glendale, is it? Old or people, somewhere? man. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Got nothing better to do and, than, than complain. And the other thing, why would, you, <laughs> why would you get high before you flew to Costa Rica? I feel better when you say that. <laughs> why would I do that? Because I was... No, you were... Why were you I just thought I was going to have that one guy smoked it. I loved it. Right. 
But I was just like, I don't like. Were you going on vacation? Or something? It's yeah. like mushrooms. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was like borderline hallucinating. Yeah. I I actually went into this this Johnny Rockets as my girl was trying to get me to fucking calm down because I was flying <laughs> and there was oh, literally no. this kid all the way across the <laughs> restaurant just Staring going like going like I got bad, 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 bad. and it felt it was right behind. I literally felt like I was this close to understanding what the fuck the kid was saying. <laughs> Dude, it was brutal. It was fu- It was brutal. That's classic. Yeah. And then I would just see something, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. I mean, talking like tears. And I was like blocking my face because I didn't want, because I was so paranoid that people were going to see me. I no. was, it, was, it was you not. You were fucked yeah, up. Yeah, you got to embrace I stuck that. My pass- I was sticking my passport in. You know where you, where you either put the credit card in or you slide the passport? Uh-huh. I was sticking the passport into the, <laughs> credit, the credit for like a Fuck. minute. Until finally this lady comes up to me. She comes up to me, the, the lady at Continental, and she just takes my passport and just sort of swiped it. And then I went, oh, thanks. And I swear to God, I looked to the left, and I laughed for, like, I think three minutes. I mean, I'm talking, like, high school cafeteria, beat red face, crying, laughing. And then after that, that's when, like, the paranoia. I never told this story. Oh, Dude, I went to go through security, and now oh. I'm in total panic. <laughs> and I'm just like, I have, like, no experience being high at all, so I don't even know how to handle it. I'm just like, please, I'm taking everything off. And I made it all the way through. And I'm literally gathering my shit out of the tin. And then one of the security dudes, this black guy, it was a few years ago. He's like, yo, my man. He goes, yo, Chappelle show. Chappelle show and I was oh, like, oh fuck. Shit. He goes, he goes, when's that coming back? And I literally I looked to the left again and <laughs> laughed for like three minutes before I could finally compose myself and be like, I don't know, man. And I always felt bad because he probably thought I was this arrogant ass, like But you just fucked up. Oh no. Dude, I remember Dude, this guy came up. walking through, he had this big nose and he had his hair feathered back, and my brain was like, his name is Larry. And he <laughs> and it was the funniest thing I thought I had ever heard. Oh, he was also like he had a soft serve ice cream. And I'm dying laughing, crying, and I'm blocking my face. hundred people can see me. I just don't want Larry to see me. And I'm just <laughs> blocking my face. No, it was brutal. It was fucking brutal. I never did it again. No? No. That was it. I just, that was it I like, dude, I was like weed hung over. Yeah, that happens like, too. That's cool. Yeah, you know like uh, when your foot falls asleep really bad? I felt like I had a ball of that sitting on my head. Yeah. It was awful, dude. When, when you're real fucked up and you start coming back down, that's a good thing. You're like, all right. All right. Oh, and you know you're all not right. going to die? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> yeah. This it's always a good, good vibe. I'll be permanently like, I think retarded, I'm going to yeah. make it through this one. I had that thing I, where you, uh, I smoked so much weed that I thought I could understand somebody else's language. <laughs> I was in Paris, and somebody was, I was in the back of some room, and they were all smoking hash joints, and there was these girls that were about to do a performance in a boat, and they all had uh, crazy tattoos. One girl had steel teeth and these brandings on each other, and... The one girl had steel stars, uh, sorry, red stars tattooed on her tits, and her nipples Fuck. were were inked. So somebody had inked her nipples. Holy shit! And then the other girl had uh, a hurt. forest tattooed on her vagina. <laughs> And I'm in this little fucking box talking to all these dudes, and they keep passing them around, which is kind of stupid because I'm like, there's got to be fucking 20 doobies in this room, and there's only like fucking 10 of us. Why can't we all just hold one each? But whatever, you fucking Euro cocksuckers, just keep passing around. I don't care. So then all of a sudden, they're talking like, and, I, and they're like, oh, yeah, this one likes me. And he's like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, 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 of course. I love her. Great. She's fucking got steel teeth. I'll fuck her. So then this one's asked me if I want to see her vagina. And I totally know that she said, do you want to see the vagina? But she said it in fucking French. And I'm so high that I know she said it according to my fucking stone brain. But then, just to prove that I was right, she came over and showed me her fucking vagina. Right? And I was like leaning over down here. So I couldn't see, you know, because there's no wall. There was no, uh, I couldn't sit upright. It was too little of a room, so I was down here. So when she pulled her vagina out, my face was in the beef. And she had a full-on bush. Like a fucking forest. It was a beautiful forest, <laughs> tattooed over a vagina, and then they took me out because they loved me and they wanted to do me. They both took me out in front of the stage before the performance. I was standing in the bit, you know, the bit where you jump over and security beat you up? I was in that bit. So I am fucking gone out of my fuck. I don't even know what the fuck. I, I think it was the, an ecstasy session beyond belief, but all these hash joints. And then these ladies had a, a, a fire-breathing thing. They had all balls on their fucking elbows and shit, throwing fire and blowing fire, and the fire was going over my head, and the fire that was going over my head, the gasoline was dripping down on me, so I had, like, warm fire gasoline on me, while this chick with steel teeth and fucking brandings were fucking having lesbian sex with each other on the stage with fire and lesbians, and I was like, get the fuck out, there's nothing fucking better than this. Somebody passed me a cigarette, I didn't even smoke, I just wanted to feel the vibe. And then I go back to the hotel saying to myself, that's the greatest night ever, and as I'm getting out of the taxi, I see this black chick 
who was being uh, flirting with me when I left almost a day ago, and she was leaving, and she was in a taxi. And I was like, "Come on, come out!" And then she came out, and we got a drink, and then she went to my room, and I didn't know at the time, but she was a hooker. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but she did this thing. Going. She did this thing on my penis that was like, you know how I mean, Paris Hilton's not very good at it, but you know in the video how she does the swirly hand thing. Oh, swirly she hand. did swirly hand thing with her uterus. What? She stood up. It's fucking gnarly. She stood up over me. I'm lying on the bed just like, okay, wow, here we go. Because she was completely in control. I was like, wow, I'm a baby and I'm about to get my fucking... She, she's funneling a baby. I could almost call the cops and get some money out of this. But she stood up. No, I think her hands might have been on my ch- chest. But oftentimes she was balanced perfectly just on her feet in this crutched up thing, like knees high. And she would go swirl down on the, on the penis, swirl up on the penis. Wow. Swirling up and down, swirling up and down, like this fucking crazy Jamaican fucking blowjob vagina sex. <laughs> <laughs> and I was tripping balls just watching my dick like it was evil Knievel jumping over a fucking hundred buses. I was God like, you go, damn. boy, you go. What I was so fuck? pumped on my penis that day. Damn, that is a fucking night. It is. <laughs> Tony Hawk, once again, thank fucking you. Fucking night. He wasn't there, I'm just saying. Tony it's Hawk was so was... fucked up, you understood French. I completely spoke but you spoke understood fluent it. French for at cool. least two hours. That's uh, that's all right. Tony that Hawk was skateboarding in the White House the other day. He was. They wanted me to call him on my radio show. They were like, call Tony. And I'm like, okay. And they're like, well, do you want to talk to Tony in the White House? I was like, yeah, of course. Can you call him? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. You want me to call his cell phone while he's in the White House? And you know my show. I'm just going to go, hey, man, like... Uh, or you smoke some weed in there, or yeah. take it, you know, piss in somebody, you know, Steal piss something. Piss, you know, go into the bathroom right now and piss on the floor. You leave, know what I mean? And then say, leave an upper decker. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm like I don't want to insult the guy. He got to the White House. Let him just have his moment. Why do I, why do I have to bring it down with the Jason Ellis show? So I didn't. I refused to call. I shut it down. Oh, look at that! Using there a little go. common sense. He's the done last enough. He's done enough. For you me. had. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I know. I, it's really. Hey. I usually would do that. I was listening to you recently. Uh, Fedor was on. Yeah, Melianenko. And you were trying to get him to punch you or something. To kick me. And fucking it, took forever. God fucking damn. Goddamn. Did he, damn did he eventually do it? Sucker. I didn't. What? I didn't get to the end of the show. No, he did. He kicked me because I had twice, shit to do. Because the first one was a pussy kick. So for real, you got Fedor to kick you. Yeah, though. it was really weird too because I had to say some stuff about. Uh, I was like, how many kids do you have? And he said two. And I was like, how many baby mamas do you have? And everybody in the room was like, whoa. And I'm like, well, fuck, it's a legitimate question. And then the answer was two. So I was fucking right. He's a killing machine. He's the greatest fighter in the world. Don't tell me you only fuck one bitch. (laughs) It's impossible. If you're the fucking toughest man in the world, you are slaying bitches all over the place. This is what bitches want. Rock stars pretend to be the toughest men in the world. This man is the toughest man in the world. Everybody wants to fuck him. And he kicked you? Good. And he kicked me. The first time he kicked me, he kicked me, and it was kind of hard because he's got a really good technique, so it landed on the bone, so it doesn't take much. And I, my, and I, I, I moved oh, back and fuck. hit the couch, and I got up, and I was like, come on, man. And he's like, no, 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 someone else do it. And I was like, come on, did I need Fedor to kick me? And then the only time I could tell that there was someone in there, because it's hard to read that guy because he's so... <laughs> he's, what is, what is, what is, he's a what is, And I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck he's saying. He doesn't look ant about anything. When are you going to kill somebody? You know what I mean? <laughs> show, me the, show me the death. What does it look like before you die? Because I know that <laughs> some people know that because he's a killing machine. So we had eye contact. And I was like, come on. And I could see we don't speak English. He doesn't speak English. He was like, really? Do you really want... And I was like, oh, yeah. fuck, yeah. Fuck that, and I mean, man. he checked to see. And I think in the first kick, because if you don't have conditioning, because I've been training for a couple of years now, if you don't, the first time I got kicked without any training from a kickboxing friend of mine, Kick Cope, he kicked me, and the next day I, my, uh, I got internal bleeding, and I had to get a, I had to get a dra- had a blood clot in the back of my leg, and all this shit. <laughs> so my legs like toughened up a lot more from then. So he was like, Ooh. okay, and I was like, all right, do it. And he still didn't. He delivered, I would say, fifty percent of what he would usually do. For one, he had jeans on, and it, and every day for like five days, every time I took a step, fatal. Fatal. You just fatal. felt that shit, huh? Just felt like a little, a little lump on the bone right there. For what a, kind of kick was it? Like a, just a, a leg front kick. of the front of the foot, kind of. It's a sh- like no, that, the, or did he? You drop? don't kick with the front of your foot. It might look like that when you watch fights. You actually kick with your shin bone. If you oh, kick with your f- ankle fuck. or your foot, you fuck your foot oh, up. You fuck. So it's with your, you your, with your shin. Your shin bone. hits the femur. Fuck. And, and the guys, they condition their legs so Ow. much. The, their, their shin bone is thicker, and the muscle on their shin bone moves off out of the way from doing it for 10 years. So their bone, if he came in here right now and just put his shin bone on your femur, you would go, ow. Ow, And you'd be like, sharp. oh, my God, imagine if he actually threw <laughs> the leg. Kicked me with that fucking thing. Yeah, it's an amazing thing. And the lawyers oh. try to get involved with your bit. 
No, nobody did anything. Nobody's really, really listening. <laughs> That's <laughs> always handy. You know what? It's, you know, you hold were, on. I'll, uh, we'll give you a little advice. I, enjoy it. No, yeah. I was just about to being, say that. Being under the radar is the best. I mean, we we play some of our old tapes every once in a while on this show. We're like, how the fuck did we get away with once doing that? Management we're looks at the that. screen and sees beep. Yeah. Wait, wait. What? What do we got there? There's something on our radar. Because you're right. obviously Ooh. on your way up, and Bad. you're going to be on the radar, and then you're going to be like, oh, mother I am? fucker. I am. Mother fucker. My wife better get some agents. No, you don't want to be on the radar. To come it home for me. They watch every move. Really? Those fighters, man, that that's just a whole nother fucking level of toughness. Oh, yeah. We yeah. see these guys come in, and it's like, fuck. It's what you do, though. You know what I mean? You're just saying, yeah. it's like, that's crazy because of that, but it's like, what about you guys on the radio? What about you as a fucking comedian? Yeah, you Dude, know what? No one can be no. as funny as you. It's you're, you, you're you a fucking champ. You did your whole life. The muscle it. off of your fucking Ugh. shin bone, dude. There's nothing. <laughs> it I got. I, I'm. I'm t I got nothing. No, no. I'm <laughs> saying that's. You, you can't. What am I going to compare that to? You can't see inside your mind. You can't hey, see inside your mind. What's up with this mind? Obama? <laughs> this guy wacky. I mean, come on. It's really. It's don't really not. Your, it's really not on the same fucking level. You're putting yourself down. Come on. No, these guys make you realize you're really not a man when they come in, like Liddell and fucking. Fedor and who else have we had? Dude, they're, the few, they're, they're, they're like the few You're guys. Like, I'm, I'm nothing. In, you know, you know what? That's nothing in the ring, like, but that's not that's not saying that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, but we all want to be a tough guy. Every single guy yeah, wants to I be guess a tough so. guy. But this is the thing, though. If you've never committed a crime, you never did any time, that's your big question. Like, could I somehow survive prison? Those fucking guys, you know, if they've never been to prison, all those MMB, they'd be fucking running the place. Yeah. That might be a bigger statement because you've you got to deal with, like, people stabbing you. You know what, though? Yeah, if you're really and, uh, big and you can take a punch, it might work out worse for you because you're going to take way more to shut you off. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That and, might and, come and after if, you more. Best thing sometimes if I'm is get, to be Fran shut Page off. goes to jail, I'm not one on one. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm get like, yo, five dog, guys like, on you. Let's take this guy. And, and when I say let's Fuck take this guy, I'm talking to that whole pack. Six over of them there. jump on you and you go to the ground and you think they're going to lose. It's like those action movies, and all of a sudden the pile just starts <laughs> fucking moving. <laughs> and MMA comes up with fucking thrown off all <laughs> joints and limbs and toes. Beating the other people with the other guy's limbs. Oh, yeah. What else have you done on your show lately, Jason? Uh, I had uh, who yeah. I, have? I had MC Hammer on the show, and it was weird because I just heard you with him, and oh, how yeah. he was saying that he didn't, you know, he meant to spend all his money, and I was just calling bullshit on him for that because I'm like, <laughs> you accidentally fucking went bankrupt, like out of your fucking ass, you did. You know, I was, if that's what it gets you through the day to believe, so you can not shoot yourself in the face, I'm cool with that. But don't come in here, don't come in here and, and, and try to back that. Look, man, I was trying to take care of all my brothers and keep them off the streets for one extra day. How about staying in business? That would have kept your brothers right, off right. for the rest of their lives. Yeah, we should. We ended up being friends. We should have pushed him more on that because it yeah, was a weird did, story. I noticed you. Well, who but else he, was, was, he, he was pretty uh, shaky about even talking about yeah. that shit. Now, you could, but you can tell it did something to him. Yeah. He has an an effect about it. He talked about sports, all the other sports he's in, and boxing and stuff. And I was like, you wouldn't stand a chance against me in boxing. He's like, oh, I've been boxing since I was nine. And I was like, well, and and I can see in your and he's like, and I can see in your eyes that you don't want any. And I was like, my eyes can see that your nose is dead straight, and anyone. <laughs> with a dead straight nose can't fight for shit you wouldn't last 10 <laughs> seconds with me and that was that's that was when it got heated and then it mellowed out to the point where i was like at the end of the day he does have the number one selling song ever doesn't he is it is it like ever that. I don't know it is ever i believe song. and it now will be forever thanks I to the uh, internet he employed yeah. uh, half of oakland at one point yeah. Yeah. yes he did and, and then the second he ran out of his money everyone left him and no one helped him out i think that's why he has that look on his face he learned one of the hardest oh yeah he's a nice guy yeah well now he's trying to make the comeback he was that here last with just his son he spent. no entourage this time good smart just one guy we learn by your mistakes yeah and Bridget Nielsen was on the other day. She was really good. Oh, yeah? Really? She's yeah. a fucking crazy bitch. She, she really mind? is a crazy bitch. You get a yeah. lot of good uh, fucking guests because you're out there again? in LA. It's because I'm on your fucking deal, dude. I'm telling you. I'm, on, I'm starting to get on the radar. Nice. Opie Anthony and people, all those people, all the XM people yeah, are like, LA hey, helps. man. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we play the best of, best of Jason Ellis on the weekend. So, What is she doing these days, Bridget? Uh, she got a bunch of reconstructive, uh, you know, I mean, I don't look old and on crack oh, anymore things. Shit. So she looks a little hotter. Humongous bitch though. Oh, yeah. Humongous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, would love to do her. But after yeah, it, cause like I've always, I always, bitch th thing. I, yeah, I always envisioned that she would be really good orally. I would think that mm -hmm. her blowjob would be, I would like to switch all the lights off and there'd be like maybe some sort of sex alien monster blowing me. Because I say that there'd be shit that'd be going on that you wouldn't even know how it's possible that there's something rubbing that region while something else is happening. I'm pretty sure she could have a conversation and a cup of tea while she's blowing it. She's got a mouth on her. But uh, she ended up reminding me of, of my mother, so 
That went out the window. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Yeah, oh, that's my mother's a complete... She's in, well, can't have that, though. She's insane. Yes. She can't hear it. Yeah, she's completely insane. And so, and so is Bridget Nielsen. Me and you. Yeah. Bunkers. It, 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 it makes for good radio, having a... I guess, mom. you know, it uh, yeah, <laughs> made you who you are. Yeah, yeah def- defending <laughs> dudes mom. that offer me speed when I'm 10 years old, still to this day. He didn't know what he was doing. Oh, my God, Mom. <laughs> he offered me fucking speed when I was 10. How do you defend this man? Oh, it was a tough time for him. I'm like, fuck, fuck you, fuck it. That's it, I'm out of here. I can't continue this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> and what were you telling me outside the studio about Perez Hilton's friend? Oh, uh, Perez. Because oh, I, I never, got, had, the, I never oh. got the ending of the story. I had yeah, to take Jeffrey a Starr came on my show, and he's like a really hot Star. dude. He's a chick. <laughs> like he's fa- He looks like Rene Russo, but maybe when she was 18. <laughs> he's had full face, nose, lip. He has like puffy lips, this red hair thing, really skinny arms. So he looks kind of like a, you know, he's covered in tattoos. He's kind of like a really hot chick, but it's a dude. <laughs> and it doesn't have Is tits. he trying to be a chick? <laughs> no. It's weird. What? He's a gay guy. Dressed like a girl, but he doesn't take pills, so he has a uh, no titties and a penis, and he likes to fuck dudes that aren't that aren't gay, and that's that's his story. That's his he was, thing. He was going on a big time, and of course, he wanted to do me, and I was. He's like, I just want to suck your dick under the under the table right now. I was like, Well, that's not going to work out. I'm married, <laughs> and he's like, Well, that's not cheating. I'm a guy, and I'm like, Well, I tell you what, if my wife says <laughs> you, can, you can blow me, you can fucking blow me uh... under the table. So, like, half the people got it, and half the people called and were like, Dallas, I fucking work construction. All my friends work construction. Fuck, you're fucking freaking us out right now, man. You do not fucking, do not even, like, take this. Sir, you cannot let him suck your dick. I'm like, I'm like come on, man. Just, let it up. Just leave it up shit. to my wife, man. It's not, it's not, it's not neither here nor there for you or me to decide. Just let it. Fuck, man. You're freaking me out. I was like, God. And then afterwards, when I God left. God damn. She, she you was, get the wife on the phone? Yeah, she called me on the phone. I didn't get it on the radio. She called because I had to leave to get on a plane to come here. I, I leave and she's calling me, so I'm walking behind Jeffrey Star yeah. as my wife calls. I'm like, B. She's like, what's going on? I just wanted you on the radio. This guy wanted to suck my cock and I was going to have you on the air to whether you decided to suck the cock or not. And she's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, let me just hold. He turned, he's talking to me. He's like, let me just hold it. And he's fucking, <laughs> oh, he's, he's licking his lips and he's getting really into it. And he's thinking, because he's, he's like, all gay guys want me to suck their cock. And I was like, oh, yeah. I mean, oh, sorry, all straight guys. Well, uh, yeah. So I'm like, well, I really, I really. Gross. So she's in the parking lot and she's staring at it. She's like, what about if I just touch it? Let me just cup it. And I'm like, really? I can't do that. It would have to be my wife's decision. My wife's on the phone, who's half Mexican, saying, you better tell that motherfucker to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and she's like, what's she saying? She's saying that, no, you, you cannot blow me. <laughs> I'm trying to do it in a polite way because the dude, he's like a, he has like a, a uh, what is it when you ta- he has a taser in his pocket? He tases people and he fights people and he punches bitches in the throat. He's a very angry Jesus. gay man. It's very. Uh, he could tase you and then fuck you in the ass and you. He, no, he will. Can't That's even do the anything. Thing. Very angry. <laughs> take it. What, what's his claim to fame? I don't know. His, his claim to f- fame is uh, he, he knows will. Paris Pere, Perez or whatever Perez the fucking fat homo's name is. He knows that fat dude <laughs> and learned from him how to do. Sh- you know, I mean, shock. She wants a red, she wants a TV show. Sorry, he wants a TV show. Hey, look, I have a, a song. Uh, single with auto tune, such fucking bullshit. Auto tune. Everyone sounds like fucking share, but no one's yeah, fucking admit- exactly. Just talking about that. That's what yeah. DJ Scribble was saying. In the Scribble, back it's there. fucking pathetic. It's, Would it's you agree? Horrible. It's horrible. I'm the like, worst great, thing you ever. guys. You guys are bringing back share. When that song oh. came out, she was over with, mm-hmm. and that was 20 years ago. And now you're bringing it back she in the f- club. She better focus on her daughter there. What's what the sex daughter change? do? Son. Sex change. Oh, that's all right. Let her live. What she get? <laughs> she getting a dick put on or cut off? We. Put on, yeah. Put on a dick. Having, having a dick put on. So is that gr- possible? Hormones. It is possible. Tits off, she's going all beard. in. She's going all in. How, how did? Wait. How do you? How do you? Uh, Chastity Bono. Chastity Bono is becoming a, a guy. I get they, that. But where, 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 where do they get the spare they normally dick from? Take from your toes. <laughs> Some, from your toes. <laughs> Little toes. <laughs> <laughs> they normally cut a chunk out of your thigh and fashion a dick and then yeah. take the clit. But what? Is that then, the fuck does it look like? And then looks like a fucked up cock. They take the clit though and put it in a place where it's like sensitive. So you can have some kind of sexual sensitivity. Yeah. I would just get like a robotic cock. It's like ridiculous. And then the, you got to have a pump type thing to yeah. actually make a ride. Did you ever? Yeah. Do you ever see that South Park episode about that? <laughs> Where they were Wait, talking is that where about you get your uh, information. They, from? No, but they did this great thing about they were talking about how these these guys who become women then want to be referred to as she or her, mm. and they just basically 
broke the whole fucking thing down as no, you're not a you're not you're a deformed man. Yeah, it's like having web feet. <laughs> Yeah, now you're just you're, a disfigured, disgusting yeah, but, human being. But web feet on purpose. <laughs> yeah, you you <laughs> pull some slime on you and sell you at toy stores. Disfigured yourself. <laughs> you, you fucking hideous goddamn character. I heard Ronnie talking about it once. And he's like, like, what's the difference between somebody going, I don't want my arm, and going to a doctor and saying, could you cut my arm off? I just yeah. don't want it. And what doctor with any ethics would do that? It's like, but your dick, you could be like, I don't want my dick. And they'll cut that fucker <laughs> off. Yeah, care. but that, you know, I mean, being a dude and a girl is different than being a one-arm guy. Yeah, but you know, it's, I understand it's it. The mind, I understand the mind of somebody being born to be a woman and they're a guy. I understand. It must be. I mean, to, if you're committed to actually letting the dude cut your dick off, you must be very committed to the game. I'm passionate about shit, but I've never you, know, you ain't cutting my dick off it's like to if get you're a guy though that wants to be a girl. Uh, you know, I, what if you're a fucking radio guy that wants to be the fucking president of the United States? Uh, it just ain't gonna happen. I'm not born so, here. So I want to be governor. You, you could do that. Do you want to hear what I stand for? Mm-hmm. Sixty. You don't uh, really want to, do you? I was like, well, okay, weed. Good, I here was, it goes. I was trying to figure yeah, it out. Yeah, weed legalized marijuana. If you're 65, you're not allowed to vote anymore because you've fucking had a good run and it's time for the kids to enjoy themselves. Oh, like, Fuck you and your <laughs> knit and <laughs> fucking picky shit. Yeah. I believe that we should get all the troops out of Iraq and send them to Mexico and beat the shit out of the Mexican police and drug dealers and then open Mexico as like a humongous Disneyland where everybody can work there, and we can all go for vacations, and no one gets shot or anything. It's called That's... the North American Union. They're, work, they're working on it right now. Stem cell yeah. research and for it. See how it's, yeah. it's working. Gay perfectly. dudes should be allowed to marry each other. Fine by that. And uh, what else do I stand for? It's pretty much it. Oh, <laughs> prostitution, legal. Yeah. <laughs> Done. You know what I mean? Tax it. You're it welcome. Should be. Prostitution, weed. Legalize legal. it, tax it, yeah. done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Make some money. Everybody's going to get it, man. You're not going to be able to stop me. When I had no brain and I could barely walk and I had no fucking money, I got weed all the time. Yeah, It's not that know. hard. God, you were making business transactions in junior high. Really? Like, you, you were? Know, like, the, the people understood the supply and demand, and here's the guy with this much, and he sells this much to that guy, so now he's... The little lower level it's guy. It's good business. Yeah, this little cartel in junior high. Yeah, you get your big bag, you try to sell it, and then you decide to smoke it all yourself, and then you're worried about the dude that gave it to you is going to beat the shit out of you, and you, yeah. and you learn the hard way that, that you got to fucking, you know what I mean? Don't, you actually don't, have get, to don't get high on your own supply. Come up with some cash. <laughs> Me and Bill are distracted. We're, I, we're a, looking at the same fucking pound, thing. There's a 400-pound three-year-old. His fat fucking baby oh, show today. fat baby freak show. It's one of my favorite fucking shows he does. Because he gets, I, I all, he gets the, a whole buffet out for the kids to just... Show. Just stuff their faces for the show. Yeah, why but is... the parents sit there crying. Just stop <laughs> yeah, feeding just... them. <laughs> yeah, why is she re- why... starved them for about a month? God, that's a humongous baby. Is he got diapers oh. on right there? Maury is a sick fuck because the... he is. He, he's the devil. Because the babies are really fat, so he makes sure they have sheet. they have no shirts on, yeah. so you can really enjoy their and fatness. They're, and they're eating. And he gets a buffet for the little. Fuck. Yeah, they make them jump up and down. <laughs> right. So they're I would so fucking... their baby tits are flopping. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cook this child. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in the oven and just baste. Them like a turkey for there's something five about them. You want you want to just fucking slap them. You really do. I, yeah, you want to slap the parents. Yeah, come I on. I want to beat the parent with no, the I just child. Want to hear what that sounds yeah. like. Grab the kid by the legs and just beat the mother with the fucking. <laughs> That's completely <laughs> fair. God, would that dude? Be great. You throw out your back. I know. <laughs> really, right? He's fucking <laughs> swinging a miss. Ow. He's got to be a 200 pound five year old for sure. Amazing. That's insane. He knows uh, actually. He's hey, three, you ever see those, those twenty? Yeah. You ever uh, see those strongman competitions when they yeah. pick up those big granite balls? That's yeah, what they yeah. should pick kids. up in the little fat fucks. Well, then he can actually earn a living. That enabling fucking cunt Wait, of a this mother. This one's in a crib. What is she crying about? Just stop feeding him, you dumb ass. Yeah. He cries when I try to stop feeding him. Well, I have then, to give him. Then look deal with the crying until he figures it out. Look at that God little damn. E-Rock. I don't know if he I... looks like George <laughs> Went. <laughs> George, George <laughs> baby, baby George Went. It looks like George mini, Went. mini George. It's a sad state of affairs right oh, there. Oh yeah, shit. tow him up the stairs with no shirt on. Is yeah. there no God? You know what? I can nah. tolerate a lot. I Leave him I, alone. I don't think I could raise a, a fat kid. You know what? If oh, he had a real. bunch of tattoos, oh. I reckon he'd look all right. Yeah, like, chicks would probably do him. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? What are you looking at, bitch? You know what I mean? Like a little just pop some tattoos on him. There's something about him, man. I just throw him in a pool. I just want to see how big the splash is. <laughs> he's kind of cute. Dude, oh, three man. years old, 114 pounds. He's three? He's three. He's like five foot tall. This guy's a fucking beast. <laughs> he's three. Dude. He should have little Is he fucking finding tattoo. it hard to hold his head up right there? Did he almost fall over? He's got a big fat head. What oh, the fuck? He's a cutie. 
That's oh, something you I want to slap that belly. I don't know why. That's something hear that you could control. Uh, he's like the cutest fat person like, I've ever seen. Oh, not come on. Wrong. They put him in front of food now and let him that's eat. Wrong. <laughs> is he so fat that one of his eyes is looking the wrong way? Yeah. <laughs> is he going cross-eyed from fat? Maury is why a are sick people fuck. smiling? Because they think he's, he's adorable. fucking diseased. <laughs> he really is. Clapping and smiling. <laughs> he's so fat his forehead is collapsing down onto his eyes. <laughs> I want look look he's spinning around like a little monkey. I want to I want to kick him in the stomach. Maury's making him spin, so yeah. everything starts jiggling. Maury knows what he's oh, doing. Oh, just good. leave him alone. <laughs> leave him alone. Oh, he's gonna fall. Come on, I want to yep. see him fall. This over. is terrible. Oh, this one has oh, to wheel him around. They got to wheel oh. him around in a wheelchair. He looks like fat? Chubsy Ubsy from our gang. <laughs> Man, it's what? disgusting. She Chubsy should be put in jail. Ubsy. She should be. That's child abuse. It is. What the fuck is the difference between hitting a kid and letting a kid get that fat? <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> suck a dick than look like fuck. that. His calves are as big as mine. Why are they applauding? <laughs> Why are you at a Maury show? <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? We have him in here. We, we call him out on oh, all we this. We call him out. We're like, Maury, you love Maury, the freak angle. Fuck. Have you ever had him on? You're, yeah. A few times. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is, is, he, is he evil? Look at this chick with yeah. the boobs. Does he sell cocaine? Uh, did, did you see I, that? I, yeah, he, she's he like two and Sherry has a sports bra. They have to put a bra on her because she's fucking it's two not even, years old. It's fat. But she's got big fat tits. <laughs> yeah, she has big she's fat baby four tits. She's years old and they got to put a top on her because Wait she's a minute. got big fat tits. <laughs> Where can't we see him? <laughs> Is it weird that I want to see fat baby tits? Oh my God, that's hysterical. They had to cover up her she big has fat to wear baby a bra. tits. She's, I feel like that's insulting. It's like making a fat dude wear a bra. It's like, yeah. fuck, fuck. She's something like a little kid, boy kid could walk out and he needed she's a bra. She's 4, 110 pounds. And she wears a bra. man tits are funny. That's she has tits at five. Fat tits are perverted. Fuck, that's crazy. Wow. Look at her cleavage. <laughs> she's four years old, 104 I, dude, pounds. Dude, you know something? If they made these two kids <laughs> wrestle, that would be the greatest show ever. We're going to have kid wrestling next. <laughs> she looks like Fat she's, child wrestling. Host a radio show in Tampa. Who is... Wow. Look at her weird... And her tits go off to the side. Hawks, why are you looking at her tits? Really? I can't help it. Stop look looking at her fucking rat. Rat. tits. She has a fucking She's rack. 700 pounds? No. She's oh. four and has giant tits for a kid. How can yeah, you but just let her do that? It's like somebody's tits. a junkie and they come on and shoot heroin in the eyeball yeah, yeah. in the in the green room. <laughs> Maury, Coming I up need next, help. this junkie. Uh, Maury, I need help. Uh, I have a drug problem. Here's some heroin. Yeah, here's some yeah, heroin exactly. and then we'll fix you. Here's some meth. <laughs> oh, man. She she has, it. That's like C cups. She has C cups at four years old. <laughs> what the Fuck! <laughs> it rolls. Why do you Adam's have this fun. shit on your screens? You've got her and the other cancer of society on the oh, next screen. Kyra, yeah, yeah. God, I hope somebody just some random tough macho lesbian knocks her the fuck out, and I can watch that on YouTube for the rest of my life. That is some kind. I don't know what that child is. Well, Put a tent I can't on it. Figure it out. We, uh... We it looks a... like it's got rubber bands at every joint on its body. <laughs> 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 it's got those fat indents. It's like you put scrunchies all over. Man. <laughs> we got to wrap up if we're going to play those Nixon yeah. tapes. Nixon tapes? Yeah, we got more Nixon tapes from the uh, old days that we're going to replay. Oh, there. Tricky dick. Why are they laughing? Uh, I love fat you know. babies. You punch him in the stomach, Maury. Squeeze yeah. her tits, Maury. I would pay to watch the, that fat chick fight that fat baby. That would be a So an average four-year-old weighs 35 to 40 pounds. She weighs 104. Yeah. So that's why they're saying that they weigh they 700 pounds. They can't walk down these stairs. The fat is coming why out is of her kneecaps. Why is the mother kneecaps? smiling and waving? Oh, oh my Stop God. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> he can't get up on stairs. He can't get up. The other kid oh. fell down and can't get up. He's like a turtle on its back. <laughs> this, is, this is great. Look at him. You know yeah, what's funny I about like, that? I want to get in that head. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. He's an animal. That kid, something's <laughs> really fucked up Maury. with that kid. Just stick some fur on his back and put him in a cage. He's a beast. <laughs> Why don't Dude, you they, give they her should, a they hug? Should, they should seriously put the two of them in a movie because they that, look like adults. Just do, like, the next look who's that, talking. Yeah. That kid is yeah. looking at Maury like the old cartoons, and all he sees is food now. Food, yeah. That's what he's looking at, that fat girl, like, like a big turkey. All right. What about a reality show, like I Eat Celebrities, something like that, and you can pull <laughs> oh. all these other ar- asshole r- irrelevant cocksuckers on a show where they eat them. 
Look at the We're on a time thing. We got two minutes guts. left. So, Jason Ellis, always a pleasure when you come to New York. Thanks for having me. Jason stops so by with his stories. Notice. You're a very funny dude. Oh, thank Bill you. Bill Burr, yes. How's it work you out for you? Bill Burr rolls. Still, it's going all right. Do you get late it, from your jokes? There's no uh, ecstasy up my ass. Yeah, but, you know, know, it, was, it was overrated, to be honest. Dish. But do you tell jokes and get blowjobs? It's it, like it's from really, the joke. No, it doesn't really happen. It's not like cleavage in the mouth? It's not like skateboarding or fucking musicians. Come on, man. Chicks love funny guys. You haven't told a joke and then got a blowjob from it? You'd Are you see, married? There's a lot of like divorced waitresses. Are you married? In, no. You're single. Yeah. So then no, no, tell no, me I, about. No, it. I have a girlfriend, but oh. I'm not. I'm not, uh, I'm not married. No. Did she blow you because you're funny? I mean, no. you don't look like Brad Pitt. Is she hot? Dude, you killed for like 45 <laughs> minutes. You're really trying to squeeze the last fucking two drops out of the. I'm shit desperate. I gotta get back on a fucking plane. Come on, give me something. What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> no, go, no, lesbian, no, fat. Oh, All right, we have to a great girl, man. Jason Ellis is on, you. Is on uh, the Faction stories. every afternoon. And, we and do the his, virus. And the virus on weekends. You can hear the best of Jason Ellis. DJ not Scribble. Not necessarily the best. Yes, sir. Not necessarily the best. You're right. Uh, you want to play us out? PSA? Yeah, let's do this. Uh, DJ Scribble doing a great job. Go to djscribble.com to see what he's got going on. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Hope.